Okay, and we should be live. I'm gonna send out that message real quick to the stream notice. Second. Yeah, we live, we live. Yeah, we, we live. live, we live. We live, but I ain't saying nothing. I ain't saying nothing until I see that viewer account go up to one. <laughs> well, I'm watching, so we at one now. Oh, also, shit. on my screen, there just ain't no viewer account at all. <laughs> it's just completely blank. <laughs> Damn. Twitch out here. Next, they're gonna count the viewers. They're gonna hide the viewers next. Yeah, they're gonna hide the viewer account. God, imagine if YouTube hid the view count. <laughs> That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. Okay, we are definitely live. We definitely have people watching. I see three viewers already. That's already. Anyways, welcome, gamers and gamets. <laughs> and everything in between. <laughs> I had like that that like split second brilliant light bulb to say gamer and game man instead of ladies and gentlemen and I already yeah. regret it. Anyways, howdy folks. Welcome to It Slappins number one, two, three, four, five, six. Which is also Trolley League Slap CD number one. It still says quarantine four in the top left, right? Oh, you're right, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I worked Welcome so back. hard. I worked so hard. In the end, it doesn't even matter. Like, holy hell. I, I, I like, tried to, like, redo everything. Yeah. I tried to redo everything for the, um, tournament tonight. <laughs> Out of everything to miss, I missed the title inside the layout. I even, I made sure to switch the, um, quarantine slideshow to one with Trolley League in it. But, um, yeah, because... Shocker here, I'm using the quarantined layout and just um, switched out the sponsors with um, the trolley ones. That's actually going to take a hot minute to fix. Uh, hold on, let me open up the file. Put a funny image in front of it to censor it. It's not quarantine for. Yeah, yeah we got to quarantine the, the quarantine. I got this. I got this. High tech censorship. High tech censorship incoming. Oh. It's like when you Wait, it's like when you finish writing beginning. something and you just you're proofreading it over and over again and then after you click send you notice a million mistakes. Facts. Alright. I'd just be recording the audio for like a video and then be like, damn, I did a really good job this session. And I go rewatch it while I'm editing it. I'm like, who the hell allowed me to record this? I definitely can relate to that. Oh, let's see here, what can we censor it with? We find a funny haha. Is your lobby private, right? Yeah, I gotta send you the code. Yeah, yeah, please. Oh, it'll be a funny sensor image. Ah, oh, this one's perfect. Just put a dug over there. There we go. I put put one of them gummy worms that I sent to you. Oh my god, you're <laughs> one of the gummy worms. You're a genius. Also, I know the st I know the people are ready. They need to wait. Because the stream, the stream is, <laughs> the stream needs. It. <laughs> All right. Oh my word. Okay. Everybody, welcome to It Slap is number. Six. See, I said you were gonna do the introduction, but we kind of. Everybody, welcome to It Slap is number six, <laughs> and the very first It Slappins, sponsored by Trolley and their Trolley League. Thank you so much, Trolley out of best. Thank you or so League much, Trolley. trolley them little gummy worms the cute little guys they look so cute bro I, they look funky i like them googly eyes, yeah, the googly but eyes this is nice. the first of many weeklies that are going to be sponsored by a trolley day they, they dump in a hundred dollars every week for the rest of the year right every single one every saturday for the rest of this year you can expect a hundred dollar dues coming to slap city all right there's a gummy worm He's a good friend of mine, this gummy worm. Big thing's going on. Oh. They don't have one that's just like sideways. <laughs> we're gonna put this... We're gonna have some fun here today, folks. Got a gummy worm here. 
Oh, jeez. Let me think here. Uh, I can mean, I can open up. Just rotate the image. Yeah, I, th I, I, I can rotate it in fucking uh, properties. It's it's so dumb. Like you gotta transform, edit transform. We got some rotation right here. Like oh, 45. Yeah, there we go. Let's go, boys. There we go. No one will ever know the difference. There, it's perfect. <laughs> you use, are you using OBS? You can just use shift to squish the image around. Where? I thought that didn't work for rotation. I have no idea. I Either way, no stream loves. I actually kind of like how I actually kind of love how that looks. That's amazing. All right, I think we can finally get started no, here. Husky and Bird are connection testing, like champions. Oh, let me get that password real quick. Yep. Yep. Password. It's already lost in the sauce. Why do we talk so much in the management Corked channels? Corked up white boy with a little bit of swag, busted down sexual style. Is he goaded with the sauce? Ladies and gentlemen. You better believe it. There you go. Found it. I have not been the same since uh, Jogging Scout posted that image. It is the funniest shit I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> what round is this? What is this? Like winners, quarters? It's like the only um... top eights that we're not doing. Round there we go, winners quarters. Alright. Oh, spectate. There, incredible. Oh. Like literally like 10 minutes before the bracket, I was like, I had this nagging feeling. I was I was forgetting something. I'm like talking to my girlfriend, like, oh I feel like I'm forgetting something. So, who's first? Who we gonna go first? Cosmos and Fruit? Yep. Alright, bet. Trolley Gummy Worm. Yeah, this is crazy. First match of the first top eight of the very first It Slappins Trolley League league trolley tournament the first match who decide who's going to continue on for the hundred dollar prize it was technically 70 30 but yeah for the 70 dollar prize it's kind of fun i don't know i mean if i was good at the game i'd participate everybody throwing your predictions who's going to win fruit or cosmos I, I don't know if I can do this as a commentator, but you know, this ain't actual sports, so like, let's. I'm looking at the stats coming in right now. It's 50 50 right now. Oh, oh, it's slightly skewed in fruit now. 50. Oh, whoa. Damn, 90% dropped... of Cosmos? Y'all hating on the man, bro. Have some faith. Holy, I just saw it jump 30% of fruit. 85 15. Oh, let's go. 66 34. Whoa, it's going back and forth like crazy well we're readying up we're getting into game one here oh fingers crossed i didn't mess up the mainstream layout oh Lucky and it looks okay figure. thank goodness okay <laughs> all so right this is one of my in. favorite stages in the game I, I don't care what anybody says this stage is guaranteed to either be ridiculously fun or ridiculously painful for whoever's winning and whoever's losing agreed and agreed and you can do some funky stuff. I kind of feel like Fruit is at the advantage here because of the triple platforms. Easier to hit that blast zone at the top. I agree. But Fish does have um a lot of lower end killing moves down to True. the abyss. And you know what? Jenny's recovery is one of the more susceptible ones to getting hit by stuff. Cosmos having... was close on hitting that crazy dumbbell angle. If it hit the edge of the stage instead of uh, barely missing it, that would have bonked through right on the head. That would have been stuck right there. The DVD menu. Angle trying to Ooh. hit that perfect corner, but not quite. Ooh! That's the oh. first stock of It Slap is number six, baby. That's what I want to see. That, <laughs> that is, is what the first I gummy see. worm stock. He wormed out. Wormed out. Let's get worming. 
See, I've been always talking about, ever since I came back to commentary, I've been opening the people's eyes to the worms in a Slap City player's brain. And now we see what kind of worms they are. The truth come out. The story thickens. The lore of Slap City goes even further than you ever thought it could be. First it was Worms Armageddon happened in the brain. Now it's Gummy Worms, Charlie Lee Gummy Worms. Which are actually really good. I remember um, my school used to pack them in the vending machines. Oh, yeah? And I would convince people to buy me some. Because I didn't want to spend no money on my own worms. But like, they were good. <laughs> they don't. I have never had a uh, trolley gummy worm. I don't even know if they sell them in Canada. You never had no trolley gummy worm? Nah. Ray, are you trolling me, bro? I went to Amazon to try to buy some in celebration. But um, like, I can only find like scalped like Im imported ones for like twenty dollars a bag i was like what the heck why oh, can't i get my gummy worm on you get them in like everything even the halloween bags uh last year or so or, yeah last year we're in 2022 oh. <laughs> happy new year everybody happy new year i wanted to talk a little bit about cosmos's performance he nailed them first two stocks real quickly and he's doing a pretty good job for himself like Obviously, he's getting whooped a little bit here, but he has been keeping that lead real strong. Like, he is not giving fruit no edge or anything. They're working for every single hit they're getting on Cosmo. I feel like that is one of Cosmos' strengths as a player in general. They don't, they just tend to kind of not expose themselves as much. When it comes to all the fish mains, I think Cosmos kind of plays it on the side of caution the most, you know? He's a very, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say defensive player. He's a more reserved player. Every move he makes, he makes deliberately. Except for that one up B that he whiffed like a minute ago. But we don't got to talk about that. Yeah, it's funny. As soon as I opened my mouth, I saw that up B. And I was like, do well, I want to <laughs> like, keep going Like the thought came this? in your brain and he's, ooh. Crazy. Almost taking advantage of that weak recovery from Jenny. Like when Cosmos gets a lead, you know, they don't mind chilling. They'll go for safe pokes. For sure. Double yeah. up B off the top. That's what I was thinking. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Sometimes when you play against fish and you get hit by that recovery, you're just you just gotta accept your fate. Nothing you could do, nothing you could think of in like the time would just be enough oh. to escape that second up B. That was a really good edge guard from Fruit though. That Jenny get up attack Ooh. is like Ooh. on some criminal activity. Oh, Fruit was trying to start something really spicy there, but Firex got interrupted. Fruit's still going though. Yeah, Fruit don't give up. I feel like Fruit has also like increased the way that they play. They're just relentless now. Before, they're a little campy. That's the thing with Jenny players. You bully them enough, they'll just stop doing whatever you're bullying them about. Fruit is just on the aggressive now, just completely. It's insane yeah. watching them play. It's so different. Oh. And that might be it. That Fire Axe might close out the last stock unless... Oh, oh Cosmo's wow. still in it. We can see something happen right here. There, okay. That's what kind of edge guard. Let's see it. Oh, not quite. But there's Fluffy coming into play. Cosmos might have been dead on some other stage. A nail biter for our first game in the tournament. Yeah, seriously. Or I guess in the top eight in the stream. Ooh, nice oh, nice flex to get out of that grab situation. That was a really good fucking play. Oh, no. And an unfortunate recovery. I mean, that's still a good game, all things considered. Oh, yeah. but like, a little deflated ending. That's just round one, or I guess game one. Yeah, like, um, Fruit's mentality has improved so much over the last year or so. Like, they really do not give up. If they're down two stocks, three stocks, like, that's what I think separates, like, a decent player from, like, a great player. Is, like, when you're down, you know, like, a mid-level player might get discouraged or start to deflate, you know, start to get nervous or think it's already over, but, like, like, I saw it so much even yesterday at the Invitational, you know, when you're down, when you're on that last stock, that's when the flames need to kick in. That's when you go into high gear. You know, that's where that's you, when you start growling, not even like metaphorically, you just start going rawr, 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 at the enemy, you know what I mean? Especially <laughs> in a local, you just start biting them, you know, you just bite the ear off. Event yeah. Holyfield style. You gotta get wobbled to scream as loud as you can. Exactly. You just distract them. It's called mind games, you know what I mean? Just make oh, them yeah. think that you're going feral and you, you're like, your life is in danger, and then just take their stock while they're like cowering in fear. Oh, yeah. I wonder what Fruit's counter pick is gonna be. I'm gonna thump that worm. Let's go, worm. 
Yeah. So, Moving around a little. <laughs> that was. Let's be. Let's let's have like a. What is the best trolley gummy worm? Because I'm gonna be real. That yellow and red one is the best. I don't care what anybody says. I think it's great. Okay, Mister, I never tried to look at fruit. Oh Damn. no, it's just visually. Like, I like its pose the most. That was an amazing string. Fruit is just blowing up like it's a fire axe. A B? Ooh, Ooh, off the top is 78. Okay. That is going to be a... Either. The neck. That's going to be a big thing right there. See, my favorite thing is that Cosmos is the nicest guy, but you play against him, he is just the biggest scumbag, the scariest, most intimidating person you will ever come across. Yeah. I like God. that shield pressure. Back in the day, people used to say that about my fish, too. <laughs> oh, Ray, you're, God. You're too nice. You're, like, infinitely way too nice. I'll never be scared of you in my life. Your fish is kind of scary, though. I won't lie. I mean, you invented the Raimondo combo, so, like... You're an innovator. I appreciate it. Fruit's shield has been like so small this entire game. I do think it's smart that they're, you know, willing to take a hit instead of, because I don't think Cosmos is actually like, he hasn't been able to follow up on it. You know what I mean? He's hitting the shield pressure, but when he actually gets the hit that he's looking for, he's not following up on it. So Fruit's doing a pretty good job. Of letting one slip just to get out of that sticky situation instead of risking getting their shield broke. Oh, that's a crazy oh, dumbbell angle. I knew that, that shit was, nice was gonna one. hit. What? Oh no! Like the the very very edge, the pixel of a hitbox on Fruits Recovery right there or Air Dodge, costing him a stock. Oh! If that hit, that would have been so insane. Oh, okay, this, back throw. Let's Dragon see what's, what's going to be. battle right now. Okay. Fire axe coming out. Not going to do anything. Oh, I wanted to see that thing. combo into fire axe so badly. <laughs> and I know Fruit wanted it too. You know what? Fruit got that kill entirely off the fact that um, Cosmos got stuck in his flex. Facts. Like, I noticed that Fruit started. out of uh, a lot of Jenny players really like catching them in mistakes. You know what I mean? When people yeah. try to jump out of Fruit's combos, they'll catch him with like a like a neutral B or something like that. Oh, <laughs> answer, answer him right back, back really. Cr yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Larson chat calling that a damn Daniel moment. Damn, Daniel. Oh, 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 oh. I'm so like not used to hearing that in response to damn Daniel. I'm just used to the <laughs> like the full quote back at it again with the Back at name. it again. Oh, it's crazy. I can never watch Sky Island the same way again. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh okay. The back here. Probably misinput maybe. Yeah. There ain't no way that was gonna ever hit. My maybe he was predicting fruit was space. holding back or away from the stage. Like maybe trying to avoid a move with like the position of the animation, but I doubt that. Oh, nice. oh that ledge hook's gonna take it. Cosmos yeah, uh, uh, right? no. whoa, 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 whoa. And I believe that's best of three, so somebody going on, and I think it's Cosmos underscore SC on challenge. They're gonna be meeting the Husky in round four. Fruit's going down to losers to fight ASAP. And Husky beat Word. Sadman Fishman beat Captain Planet with Metal Arms. Revelo beat Double A. There's some upsets going on here, fellas. And by that, I mean literally just Sadman beating Cap because Cap is the number two seed and Sadman is number seven. All right, so we got to see who the next game going on is. I'm going to message Pungus the lobby code.
fellas. I gotta say, for the very first trolley league, it slappins tournament. This is kind of good. I, I won't lie. <laughs> and I believe I actually have no idea what we're going to stream next. If we're doing losers or just going straight to semis. But in semis, we got Husky versus Cosmos and then Sadman versus Revelo. In losers currently, we got Fruit versus ASAP. Uh, the winner of Chris Bungeon versus Despot against Word. Double A versus the winner of Sego and Gabe. And then Cap and Flamaccio. When did Flamaccio get knocked out? Bro? Who killed Flamaccio? Word? I mean, that's Rem versus Fish. So, like, you never know. Who will win the set? I won 187 bones. Wow. Look at Revelo joining the lobby. Look at this little geek. If he still has an anime profile picture, I'm not rooting for him. He always has some like little geeky little anime girl as his profile picture and like. What is that? What is that in chat? I don't even know what that is, bro. It looked like Luigi. Oh, that's that's fish. I see fish. What does that look like? Fellas, I believe our next match is Revelo and Sadman Fishman. All right, so we are having Sandman Fishman versus Revelo. Fellas, can I be honest? What's better than like just a good ass game of Slap City? You know what I mean? Like Revelo's kind of a freak. He's playing, he's playing It'll Do now. He ditched the remedy for It'll Do. But you know what I mean? Like we still respect it. That's my son. I guess. Gummy worms are better than Slap City. I don't know. I feel like eating gummy worms and playing Slap City kind of fired. That that's that's what I would pick. Both of them at the same time. Damn, Husky, you just fucked up, bro. See how we got predictions set for Sadman versus Revelo. I'm obviously voting for Revelo because Sadman needs to get his ass beat. Anybody that votes for Sadman, Fishman, get ready to get disappointed. And I got the single greatest commentator in the world, Big Pungus. Hey, what's second, up? Second greatest com I'm the first, but like. Sure, bud. But anyways. The, the second greatest goddess man in the world, Big Pungus. I'm the mm -hmm, first. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure, bud. When's the last but, time you beat me at a ditto? Doesn't matter. When he matched me for some gummy worms? Sure. After the event. Alright, bet. So we got I think that we should they're ready to go, yeah. Uh, let me just get in there to comment or to spectate. Alright, bet. Uno oh, momento. they start the game anyways. All right. Let me screen share real quick. Yeah. All right. So these corn balls uh, started before we said, let's go. And Sam and Ordi getting whooped by Revelo. 
Sandman, before the tournament, I think it was earlier today or yesterday, asked for some tips on how to fight It'll Do, and literally no one gave him advice, so I don't think this is going to be a very strong match for Sandman Fishman. It can still go either way. <laughs> I, I disagree. Sandman <laughs> has such a hard time stuff, against... Still it, still Sandman has such a hard way. time against, one, good players, and B, It'll Do, and Revelo just so happens to be both a good player and an It'll Do player. On the, depending on the day. Yeah, maybe sometimes you might whoop out the remedy but, if he's feeling like, you know, being cool. Well, I mean, I'm, I mostly meant the good player. Like, there we saw just, but without a jump. Facts? I mean, like, it was all tactical because, you know, Sad Man died so early. Revel is just doing it for content, true, true. you know what I mean? True, true. He just wanted to get back on stage faster. He was just speed running. Look at this. Sad Man didn't flex right there. That could have been a stock. Barely missing that Dumbo. So unlucky. That, that was more just good spacing on Rev's part. He curved his up B to just Champ. barely avoid it. Sandman choking the up B, easiest kill confirm in a game. Ooh. Walking right into a raw F smash, the Chris Bungeon. Okay, that's it. That's a kill right there. Ooh. The down air. Clashing with. The armored up B. But okay, that is a trade you don't want to take. It's not looking too good for Sad Man here, but it's still doable. It's not you too think? much of a lead. It's still, it, he just needs one good F tilt, one good anything to start that kill confirm. And it's back in from possibility. This is like playing zombies right there, you, bro. It's like just real embarrassing. You just yeah. dying all the time and not yeah. being very good at the game. Oh, you know. Basically, gotta play for the fans though. Exactly. Boom! Hit the. That's called the fish. And there we see Sad Man trying to, trying to speed run a little, trying to get just into that next game. Yeah, it's all yeah. data, all data, first game, all data, and this is a yeah. uh, semi, so it's best of five, right? I believe so. All right, bad. This tournament is sponsored by Trolley and the deliciously dark Trolley Worms. Complete, compete in your favorite games and you can take home Trolley Worms and a share of $45,000 if you're hungry enough. Is that true? Apparently. <laughs> yeah, the coupons are real. What's up, Ray? Hi. What's up, Raymond? Can someone tell me the score? Uh, uh, it's 1-0. Uh, it's 1-0 Ray in our favor. Oh, his name's Revelo. I called him Remedy. What's the difference? <laughs> Revelo's about to disrespect on him. He's about to throw no mines down. But I feel like Sandman probably has a better job beating on Rem than he does on It'll Do. He, does he do? probably does, but with it being null, Rem can just dominate stage control if she gets that mine down. Which we don't sure. see that first stock, but immediately that second stock she gets Well, that's because Rev is trying to ego him right now with no mind, but then he saw that he lost first stock immediately, so he's like, no. oh, I gotta, I gotta whip it out now. I think That's what Remedy players is... be on. They think they're good enough that they can't play without mine, and then they die once and like, oh, never mind, never mind, I take it all back. No, I think it's more just with how aggressive Sadman can be at the start of the game, it's kind of tougher to get that mine down initially. You use that spawn aim ability to get that mine down, the second stock. But initially, if he just side beam nares at you, you can't get that down. He'll knock you out of the animation and won't be, won't be placed. Whoa! And it's better to just play it a little Got slower a at the start. Off the top. Sadman crumbling underneath the insurmountable pressure that is Revelo 2112. Is that, is that what right? 2112? Yes, sir. I remember that because that's my son. 211212. Stop. Beep boop boop boop. Something like that. I don't know, man. I, are you talking about the song that goes beep, boop, boop, bop, boop? Nah, man. You're talking about 2112. And we're seen it. Combo? The most boring combos in all of Slap City? Gotta start every combo with a bear. Not, Not biased at all. Okay, I, I gotta this is be actually honest. Pretty it's pretty close. Yeah, I, gotta be like, I was about to say, this is not as close. like much of a massacre as I thought it was going to be. I was right then. Like, yeah. 
Sandman probably does have a better time beating on Rem than he does it'll do. Because at least... I know Sandman struggled with it'll there as just like every good. single person who plays this video game. That was some good DI on that back there, like Sandman avoiding the mine. But unfortunately he does roll from ledge, getting him grabbed, but... Yeah, I don't again, know, I don't understand the good thought DI. process behind the light shield instead of just trying to act. Nice movement though. Getting out of that sticky situation. A bit of a sticky Sometimes you just want that space. Facts? Which is not what Rev should have gone for right there, apparently. It's up to Sadman. Okay. Oh, and it's back to Ethan. <laughs> I'm about to say, it's up to Sadman to keep this lead as long as he can, because it's probably the only time he's ever going to keep a lead, but he just immediately goes in a raw mind, because, you know, Sadman is one to take a lot of easy bait. Revelo is one of them remedy players. That is just scary. I, I don't ever want to play his. I mean, I don't ever want to play Revelo in general because he makes me not want to play this game. He's so good. But, like, if he plays Jenny, though, I'll play him. I don't think I ever dropped the game to his Jenny. Jenny sucks. Plays Jenny? He does not. That's why I beat him. Fair point. But we're actually going to see Sadman take that game, too, over Revs to Remedy. We'll see if he switches back to it or. How the stage selection goes. I hope not. I want to. I want to see him stay. Remedy just to prove to us oh. that he's not a fraud. I would imagine he goes back to Italy here. Just, just to make it easier. Okay, here's the thing. Make it there's easier. an easy, there's an easy option, and then there's a fun option. Which one are you gonna make? Well, my thing is, he has both stage character pick, and he can swap characters. So he can go back to Idle, and then he can kind of pick stages as well. Are you sick, by the way? You sound a little... Yeah, I'm a little sick. A little nasally. I was just yeah. sick. Yeah, there it is. Bring back the delinquent. Wow. Well, I don't just need a screen share no more, do I? I definitely didn't get in there. All right, but... Yeah, they're not picking a stage. Ah, they're striking, they're striking. Smash.gg moment. Shout out to Trolley for uh, being challenge only. Open there, okay. So I don't really know yes, who like benefits from this map between the two. Uh, I'd imagine Rev would get more out of it. Probably because, because you know, Bear off the side is probably easier to get. Something like that, oh, and okay, just with more. Hey, Revelo is going in for the disrespect. He is going in deep. With more space, Ado can kind of do her thing more. The fish uh -huh. likes to keep you suffocated, so just having that more stage can just make. I don't it know. Whenever I play against Ado, do I kind of feel like I'm getting like I'm not getting suffocated. I'm getting strangled, bro. Like, <laughs> but I guess he would need more room to do all that. I can see what you mean. That is Minecraft. Why well, I have Minecraft open? I do you. I was playing Minecraft earlier. Ah, same. I was just actually, I'm actually on right now. Shout out to the Slap City Minecraft server that nobody plays on. Oh, it's dead now. I killed it. Yeah, recipes. That was thirty dollars a month for one player. It was me. I was the one player. Oh, Revelo is pretty much just saucing on him right now. Re yes. Revelo is the quirked up white boy with a little bit of swag busting. Oh, Sam is staring at the camera. Basically getting a little wink saying, I got this. Okay. This is Sam and Fishman's last stand. He's going to go out pretending like he was just trolling the entire time. No, this should be best of five. Oh, yeah. This ain't game three. This is game three, but... Oh, it's 1-1. One, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're, one, right, one. you're right. So. Oh. Even if the e he doesn't game. get this comeback right here, which doesn't... That was real good. clean. That was real clean. But we'll see how this stage goes. This next round. We did see... Sad man, take the last game on his counterpick, so we'll see how that goes this time. Facts. 
it was a different character from Rev. We'll see if... I'd imagine they're going back to Null. We'll see if Rev goes back to Remedy for it or not. It was pretty close. But it looks like Rev is going to stay Idle. So I'd imagine it's going to be Null and Rev's just going to stay. What does Idle do? Yeah, I mean, Sandman After can't play that. anybody else. Like, it, it, yeah. he don't, you know if Sandman really gave up if he goes back to Keyboard BCM? Or if he goes to Keyboard BCM? Sandman has this thing where he, like, loses his winner's round. Has like a mental breakdown and then he comes back he's like all right i'm a new man i'm a change man i'm gonna fix up whatever i got going on and then he just like flops it's the funniest thing in the world i'm waiting for the day because this kid has like the potential to be like one of the best he just needs to get out of his brain you know what i mean yeah. the worms in his brain are working against him there ain't no trolley worms in there there's just like actual worms all digging around on the mud and everything we are gonna see it Unfortunate SD, but the real nice return from Sadman there. Yeah, Even I mean, he went there. deep for that one. Basically, like he... immediately. Oh. Sadman's got really annoying movement, too. Like, in a, in a way where it's like... Everything you do is just wrong sometimes. When he gets into it, like, he gets pretty scared. I think this is a stock, though. Yeah, it's not gonna back the ledge. Yeah, no jump. I'm assuming but that Nair was still, a messed up back there. This is still very doable for either side. Yeah, for sure. I mean, like, I feel like Revelo's got the advantage because it's Idle versus Fish, but, like, Sandman very easily proved that, you know, he's capable of taking them stocks real clean, so, like, he keeps it up. And boom. Four strong. In the butt? Oh, up, he's going to cancel it out. Platform really helping Revelo there with that combo. But it's paying them all. Not like, them I saw some of these players just slide the ruins pot like a 20 and then it just works for them the entire set. Basic sad man combo be like boom in up strong. There we go. Sad man potentially on his last stock winner side. Revelo just sitting pretty 46% one stock up. Not even potentially. Is this his last stock if he can't win this game? Though that stage spike is going to help him a lot. Well, potentially his last stock, meaning that if he wins this game, yeah, yeah, yeah. then he's got more stocks. Yeah. Come on, Mongoose. You really pushed up your glass and said, well, technically, actually, according to the brand. Oh, yeah, that's no. it right there with Upstrong. Yeah, yeah, 128. See, I told oh. you. Sam and Fishman will. I ain't even see them worms in the back. I saw that. What is that, Ray? I like the. I saw that. The ruins. I'm not tweaking, right? Y'all see that in the background. What are you talking about? Watch the stream, bro. Ruins got worms in the background. Yeah, we um we modded ruins for today. <laughs> Let's go. Um unfortunately folks, um I'm not feeling too well and um I'm gonna actually be swapping out for Malk here tonight. I'm really sorry everybody, but um I'm just Oh you're good, man. Yeah. Um, we'll be gone. We'll be offline for just a minute. Malk is is um, ready to step in. Thank you so much, Malk, for um, stepping in. Uh, I feel uh, better, Ray. Yeah. Right. Um. Yeah. Uh, I hope everyone has a good good um evening. Yeah. Take it easy, man. Get some rest. Sorry Love to you. About it, Ray. Feel better. All right. Um. Give me a second to like load everything in. Good. I'm gonna keep a space open. If I can. Fine, which is me screen sharing. Yeah. Gonna be lazy like that. Yeah. The more players we can get in there, the faster the intermissions will be. So. But we're back. What's up, everyone? What's up, everybody? Worm. Ne we're gonna be having Cosmos and Husky, with the lowercase h, up next. So. Mr. One Hundred Dollars, our good friend playing Asha. Apparently, I don't see about to switch characters right now. But Husky probably going random, ain't he? No, I, I think he's just been playing Asha recently. That's scary. A little bit, considering it's Husky and Asha as a character. Yeah, I mean, not saying that Husky don't know how to play Asha, but it's probably good I for am. the stream. 
Cosmos probably haven't played against no actual like good Ash in who knows how long. No one has. Ever since. What do you mean? I play I play Ash against some people sometimes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I'm Flex retired. Uh, Dume retired. TJ is no longer in the game. Cam. TJ played Ash at any point in time. I don't think he played in bracket. But he had a good Asha. I don't doubt what? it. TJ is scary. Oh, not Princess Amelia. Seeing. Wearing the ugliest skin of the game. Let's go, boys. Oh, no, that's not the ugliest. The ugliest is the vampire one, but like. No, 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 no. no. Queen or Princess Amelia in general is just the ugliest skin of the entire game. Oh, okay. Okay. Early kill with a up air spike. Something that should definitely be in every video game. Okay. I've seen a strong performance how to do here. It. I was about to say. I've seen a strong performance here from Huskies or even Revelos. Despite. Well, Husky's in go mode. Like, he smelled that money. He he heard $100 every week, $70 every week for first place. And so he's just kind of, he's oh, yeah. not messing around. When, when Husky gets money involved, you know what I mean? This, this is his income. This, this is when he activates. This is when he unzips a little bit. Let's a little bit of them gummy worms out. Wait, Husky's 18, right? Or he's 19 this year. He's, yeah, I can say that. Never mind. He's no longer a child. That's crazy to think. You're telling me. A misgrab opportunity for Cosmos. I think he was trying to go for it, but maybe... Overthought it? Maybe underthought it? Who, thought, who knows? Husky not quite reacting that down air with the up smash like he wanted to. But... Oh, wow. Need to work out either way. A really unfortunate DI. I'm pretty sure Cosmos gonna live that, but... Cosmos having a bit of a hill to climb for this one, but... Anybody going against Husky he's definitely got a mountain to climb. No hill, it's a mountain right there. But I believe Cosmos could definitely. First game is all data, fellas. Yeah. You already know this. First game is warm up. First game is warm up, especially in best of five. But we'll see how this goes after. I have no clue if Husky's going to stay the same character. It's a bit odd to see his remedy. It's a little bit. I mean, that's not remedy. This uh, Princess Amelia. It's a bit odd to see Remedy's mom from Husky. I don't know any of the Ludosity lore, so I'm gonna just believe that's true. Yeah, that's true. That's the lore. Again, I I, I can't. I don't know I if know. that's true or not. I don't know if you're going to lie to me. But it looks like Hus Husky's going to stick with everybody. So. I'd imagine it's not ruins again. Okay. I was thinking it'd be ruins only. Seems to be typical for both these players occasionally. With that money on the line. This is a real strange <laughs> stage pick. This is Cosmos pick, right? Yeah, this is Cosmos. No edge guard or nothing. I don't know what was up with that. Just a, probably uh, a little some, bit of nerve. Sometimes it's just a bit scared edge guard. Remedy, considering she has so many resources to just choose where she is. I feel like that was like a really, really bad, uncharacteristically horrible recovery from Husky. He basically floated until he was at the edge of the stage. The only thing he could have done was uh, air dodge back on the ledge. That was a free down strong right there. I mean, if it works, it works. I mean, yeah, sometimes every every player makes that mistake. Sometimes you show a little too much respect to your opponent. Maybe it's out of fear. Maybe it's out of, you know, just not paying attention. But sometimes you just let people recover on a stage for free. You just kind of forget that you can edge guard. Yeah, sometimes. But I guess you don't want to get, you know, you don't want to risk hitting that, like, up air spike on accident next thing you know you're at the bottom of the stage. Sometimes that bad play is the good play if they're expecting the good play. The ladder? Drop combo? Run out of flow? I do like how Husky, from a lot of remedies, you'll see them just like let people run through their minds for free because they want to combo into them. Husky's down to just let her rip. Yeah, I'd be saying that all the time. I feel like some remedy players just kind of for, like 
They kind of set it and forget it. They kind of wait for the confirm. You don't have to wait for no confirm if somebody's running right into it, especially at a kill percent. Or even a percent that you can just combo off it. Or even if you just want that free damage, because that's... That is pretty raw damage, amount just like, of what, damage. I think it's like 16, something like that. I thought it was 18, but yeah, somewhere around be. there, like... Boom! I High Almost teams. off the top. That was a really good DI from Cosmos. I thought that was dead right there. I mean, it's not dead. It's Remedy. She can just kind of kill you. Somebody Especially. DM bird the stream lobby. But we are seeing a bit more of an even game this time. I, I agree, no, yeah, yeah. Uh, no it's not even a slouch kind of game. Huge lead from Husky. I'd imagine partly imposed due to the kind of stage from Cosmos. Both just kind of feeling each other out, getting those stray hits. That's how the and then right Husky there. finds a straight hit into a kill. Sometimes you just like lock up. You know you shouldn't be there, but you still end up there. Mm hmm. Okay, damn, I need to DI this better, and then you keep DIing the exact same way. Facts, facts. It, it is like the. I don't know how Husky barely managed to crawl up on a stage there. That's just Cosmos game knowledge. The... There's, that, there's that up B thing where if you jump with it when you have. No fuel, you go a bit more height. Uses that, he uses the knowledge of the uh, stage, just letting you roll up for some reason. Game two to Husky, but that that was a lot closer than the first game without like a shadow of a doubt. So, like, oh, yeah, no doubt that Cosmos can take at least one game. Cosmos can absolutely take this if he plays a little better than he did that. I feel game like it's the stage that matters. It's the stage that matters, because y'all just, like, ran up on Fluffy, like, Husky's not going to ladder combo you off the top every single stop. Right. But it is going to be Cosmos' the stage pick again. We'll see if he goes back, we'll see if he tries something new. Pepper. I know Cosmos used to have an Asha. If Husky's sticking Remedy, we might. No, nah, never mind. Nah, they're gonna go Pepper. Yeah. I'm a, that is, I'm a little surprised, considering how close that last game was. Facts? But I don't know. I feel like Cosmos. But, he wouldn't pick a stage if he. You know, he's not picking it for no reason, so I feel like. Maybe he genuinely believes like he can get back yeah. up on it. Did he not air dodge the ledge? Or did he use that height thing that you was talking about? I think he grabbed the ledge regularly. Alright, but... But... Cosmos already had a scary percent on his first stock. Maybe this stage was the wrong choice. Good news Cosmos. is he's back to a safe percent on his second stock. Facts? So, oh, maybe, maybe not a quite safe Husky percent. is already up on percentage. <laughs> and I, I really think he should have gone back to Fluffy here. Not gonna lie, that top so. platform really was giving him so much more space to do with, to work with to land, which is his big problem. He's he's just getting hit and he's not touching the ground for a good eighty percent. And the next time he gets hit, he's just dead. I think the thought process here was that Husky was probably getting more value off the platforms than he was. Maybe, but we're also seeing Husky just zero to death off of a back throw right there. And uh, it's not another... looking too good for a boy. Potentially Cosmos' last stock in winner's side. Ooh, and that fair somehow stage spiking, giving Husky 27 more frames of hit stun. Oh. But it doesn't matter. Really unfortunate Husky DI. Speed run that game three. That's the power of Princess Remedy. That is why she is top three in a game. Fellas. 
and next we will be seeing Captain Planet with metal arms versus uh double A. Are they in the lobby? Uh, yeah, they're both yeah they're there. Cool. And this is loser's side, so Yeah, this is gonna be losers round four, losers. Just losers round four. Right? Is no, this is semis? this is before quarters. Huh? This is loser semis, and the next will be finals, and then grands, and then grands round two if it needs to go. No, this is loser of or winner of this match plays against loser of next, next round is loser. Yeah, loser semis and so on. Yeah, this is the round before quarters right now. I just play the game, bro. I don't know what any of that means. Here, let me spectate real quick. This is the beginning of top eight and losers. But <clears throat> we see in double A's goddess of explosions versus caps PCM. I don't know the history of these two head to head too well. I I'm pretty sure cap just kind of wins. I mean, yeah, it's BCM versus Goddess, so... It's, it's a pretty even matchup, yeah. Shut the hell up, bro. I feel like out of anybody, Cap probably is at the advantage, because you already know, like, he runs through tournaments like crazy, so he's probably dealt with AA and Goddess more times than AA's dealt with BCM. I mean, maybe. But AA also is the resident Fireball user, apparently, so... Obviously, BCM definitely gonna make some money off of that. It's just free oh, yeah. cash that he's throwing out. Just a free fifty from every fireball. Facts. And you lose most fireball exchanges too. Like usually, you can try to bait out like a, you know, hit it back with a jab until they're dead or it hits them or some. Like it's just not gonna work against BCM. The multi hits go crazy. Mm -hmm. But and there's another multi hit though, right? It's a singular hit move, right? That's a multi hit. It's so weird, like, the way like it hits is really weird. I feel like Double A... He's done a pretty decent job of existing without his Fireball recently. But it's still like something... I guess that's just a problem that a lot of Goddess players have in general, is that they use the Fireball too much. It's a, so cool, it's a good tool for like blocking out options and things like that. It just, you know, against a character like BC and the benefits from throwing out fireballs randomly, it's kind of hard to break the habit. Right. Which is actually the best Lincoln Park song. It looks like that's not true. The Double spite, the lack of fireball. Double is still going to be trying to just keep Cap out, just make his space. Easy sell, extra free damage. Double A already in a pretty miserable position right now. Even percent, Cap's got money. He doesn't though. He is uh, he is 130. He just sold one combo. On he's it. already back at 200. Oh, I take it back. Oh. This is still good use of very Nary. nice get him for off. A. As long as he doesn't get that extra 10, it's a very good position for. Well, well, well boys, fireballs. you know what they say. Was that like a... That was an f tilt that gave him 40 bucks. Um... I think so. That's crazy. I missed it. it oh, honestly, barely I just know he ball. got it off the fireball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... Definitely not really playing to the BCM money aspect too well. He's just kind of... Playing his game, not really... Respecting BCM's win condition. And we see, even though it is like back and forth neutral exchanges, Cap does have money now. There we go. With the clutch walk and everything. Got his swagger back. Okay, Double A is doing a pretty decent job. I have not seen one fireball in like a minute's time, so we're already improving. This is called adaptation, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you win a matchup. Yeah. He, he threw that fireball that gave him 200, and then that's kind of been it. To open so. his eyes. 
Ooh, if he just held that for a little bit longer, he probably would have caught Cap trying to use the uh, air storm recovery. A good use of his own air storm to block out some of the options like that, but it don't matter because a foot to the face. Cap is only at $70, though. And a 110 per one. Please say that. What, what percent is he at, Pung? I'm having a, a lot. Yeah, I'm struggling here. He was just at seventy dollars before I closed my eyes. I opened it. He's at two thirty again. I'm not the only one struggling here. I am. <laughs> I am not the only one struggling. This man's put him in a blender, bro. Okay. Under the stage, good neutral B gets hit by the air strong though, so that momentum is completely shifted back into Cap's favor. Oh, it's ever since I respawned. It's kind of been Cap's favor. Uh, got, he got double A in the. This loops got some just pressure put on him. And how's that? Took some, takes a stop. Neutral B, let's go, baby. Both players kind of seeming to struggle to find a kill this game. That's the second kill around 200. Already. Yeah, I'm about to say like Caps had a pretty like sorry money deficit, but you already know it's BCM. He already making that. But he's already back at 200 before I can even finish my thought. He's already making that money, bro. He's got that December revenue. His CPM is up. If Cap was a YouTuber, he'd be rolling in it right now. Oh, that's, that cat or that ad revenue is insane this time of year. Bro, I released a video in November. I was making $100 like almost every single day up until like January like 20th or something like that. Let's see. $400. He dumped 200. He's still at 400. This is like the BCM end game, you know what I mean? Like, up a stock, four hundred dollars. Like, unless Double A can pull off like some kind of crazy goddess Uga Booga comeback, Cap's pretty much got this game in the bag. I mean, this like is money in the bank. If he, if Double A can take the stock right here. That's actually huge. Power shield on the F strong. That's crazy. This might be the Ooga Booga Wooga. But Double A still just keeps throwing those fireballs out. But she, I'm sure he knows it's just not good in his matchup, but it's just so hard to find that fight that most wingery. That's crazy. Hit him with them greaves. Them green greaves. But we're gonna see Cap taking that game one. We'll see. If we go back, we'll see if Double wants to go to a different stage. Maybe. We'll see if we get the Cap Goddess. Trying to show Double A that the Nair is broken. Cap Goddess? I don't want to see Cap Goddess. Because Cap, no matter what anybody says, he's got that movement. Cap the rise off that platform movement, and if you got goddess that can like wiggle and jiggle around platforms, that is a scary little like slithery little snake. You know what I mean? Yeah, like a gummy worm. Gotcha. Like a gummy worm. Like a gummy worm. You know how I always be talking about worms in a brain? Like it's a game of worms Armageddon. What if it was a game of worms Armageddon, but it was gummy worms instead? It's all coming together. All the worms are working together. It's like a network of worms. Now you're just saying words. But we're getting the game too. We're seeing the way go to Sector, which is an interesting pick. It might just be medium biased against this stage, but I've always thought this stage wasn't too great for guys with how big it is. It's oh, no, no, no. This game messes me up sometimes, or this stage messes me up sometimes. Like, the amount of times where I've been trying to, like, go for the easy baby combo down till F smash just to close the stock, and the rising platform is, like, stop me. It's, it's like, unfortunate. It's like some Murphy's Law type beat. It also just kills a lot later. Facts? Which is kind of not what you're looking for. And I'm also, if you smaller. try to dare somebody off the stage, there's a chance that they could tech off the sides and come back with a wall jump or something like that. Right. I like that combo. Catch it. There we go. Double A playing a little more patiently, not throwing out the fireball. Even though you kind of 
want to for like edge guarding purposes. It's like a perfect opportunity, especially against a recovery like Caps. You force him to go around that or even like just slide his way on the stage when he's got no money. That's a stock right there. That's a free down tilt forward smash. That's a free any kind of strong punish. And my question is, when did Double A die? I don't remember. The very, very start, I'm pretty sure. Like Cap kind of got an easy stock off of him. I completely missed that somehow. I mean, I must have too. Maybe, maybe they just both started with three stocks. Maybe yeah, that's the it, lobby's. That's it. it's, just, it's the lobby's problem. Game bugs. Fix game, please. But these caps going for some custom. I'm about to say that's the scary thing about cap. Like, you notice how fast like it took double A a game to adapt to like how to play around cap. It took cap all of like what two minutes in this game. Yeah. Like Whatever double A had going on, Cap is already like there to, you know, <clears throat> put his foot in it. And not in like a cooking kind of way either, but like, more like a, he just kind of stepped on double A's, you know, okay. Yeah. No more talking about feet pump, that's a little weird, bro. Okay. But I'm not counting them out, like 144%. This is pretty good for double A. A perfect chance to close out the stock, you know, cut him on his money a little bit. The scary thing is just the random. Uh, fourth throw is 300, right? The sub? Uh, yeah, that's 300. So if he does. Well, he he don't right even now, need it. He don't even need it. So in the end game again, be two stock nice lead. for closing out this game. Whether he uses it for some sort of combo to get damage or just. The F match would, which would kill right here. That's crazy. I called it. Really taking advantage it's of the good. fact that he's throwing out them fireballs again. That's the scariest part. It's, it's breaking bad habits. Oh, but he's using he, token. Okay, he, he's using two controls. It's he's probably it's probably not even him playing. It's probably yeah, his little yeah. brother with the USB steering wheel and everything. Yeah, yeah. He's playing with with Gyro right now. He's on the Joy Cons. I do kind of got to agree with Revelo2112 in the chat. If that was him, that wouldn't have killed him. Yeah. I take a knockback differently, so it's fine. I've actually never uh, lost a stock in my life. Big one, but you know. Take it how you see it. But we're getting into game three here. We'll see if this is the last game of the set. Or if it'll be... Am I tweaking or there. did does Nair not give money? It doesn't. No. Okay. That's why I, I don't see it crazy. Used that's too not, much. Yeah. I was like, well, there's no reason why Cap's not using that, but I, I was thinking like you probably just don't give money or something. I don't know. I don't play BCM. Boom! Double good miss bait double, with double, the air strong. Double BCM's light enough that would have killed them, right? He didn't have. I don't think he had. I don't he, think had he had the second jump. jump. He he did oh, a maybe. he did a up air I think or F air I don't remember. I don't know. Sometimes you just kind of recognize that you can't do it, so you don't go for it. I definitely sure think he could have gone there. He was high enough. You know, he I mean? might have. But you know, I guess it's better to just go for the safer option. Yeah. That's probably like the most heartbreaking part is when. You see the double air strong, but you realize that you're too low to the ground. So that you probably won't be able to hit it in time. Ooh. Do they do a, good, a real good job this game of just spacing around BCM's hitboxes? That was scary. Rolling, that, he almost rolled right into the F strong. Even stocks, caps at 140, caps at 220. Caps at 230, even percent, kind of, sort of, if you think about it, if you squint your eyes a little bit. Cap is at 286. This is a kill. Percents are no longer even, I anywhere thinking, near. I was thinking right there, Cap was going to go for the forward air and just kill him. It felt like it, yeah. He was far enough on stage, I'm pretty sure that would have killed him, even at oh, that, like, 50%. It's a 50. That Boom, base not that's a stock right there. Oh, nope. coming back. That was really good Just GI about. from Double A. Big old Little Fan 12. What does the 12 and the Little Fan stand for? 12. He's 12? At the number. You know, Charlie League says you gotta be 13 years old to 
Ente. Get this oh, man out of here. So if we if he wins this set, we're gonna have to DQ him. Unfortunately. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. I like the choice to not go for the air strong there. I see a, a lesser player with a smaller brain like me probably would have gone for the air strong. And knowing the fact that I got a small brain, it probably would have hit anyways. I like the choosing to follow up his tech chase with a taunt. Interesting choice. It's actually a high level, you know, mental damage kind of game. Oh, he went for it. He went for that wavelength back on the stage grab, but unfortunately that put him just out of the range of the grab. So he's going to miss that kill, which might have been him killed. Is there a combo you can do off up air spike into ground bounce at this kind of percent? Maybe yeah, you not can do grab, right? You can do forward air, back air. Okay. So double A was doing something right there. It's just kind of hard to follow up at that high percent. But BCM, what's this guy's name? Captain playing with metal arms. Already at two hundred dollars. Even yeah. stocks. One good like forward air at the edge of the stage. That's pretty much the stock right there. Percents might be basically even, but Cap does have the lead because he has the potential to he kill does have any point. Yeah. Also, just percent lead now. Double is doing a pretty good job of spacing that. Okay. Damn. I, I can't even finish my sentence. I'm just cursing all these people. I kind of feel bad at the same time. I don't because you know it's, it's not my money on the line. Cap be a patient way for that get up attack. I feel Double A does have a problem with using get up attack a lot and i feel like cap's really calling him out for it cap cap's been a, doing a real good job this entire set basically of just finding kills without he's using been money. checking him yeah he's been checking him the entire time this is like a traffic stop like you're not really doing anything wrong but you feel really guilty whenever you're at one you know yeah because there ain't nothing wrong with using get up attack there's nothing wrong with using fireball but cap's sure as hell making you feel bad for it making you feel like you did something wrong like you got something in your car Good throw. That was actually really clean. Fast reaction time, too. Cap definitely making a mistake throwing out that chair for no reason. Cap doing a good job of hitting 400 before the stock ends. That way, he did respawn with an opportunity to kill. We're not seeing it immediately right here. We're about to see it right here. Or we actually do see it immediately right here. But, you get what I'm saying. Facts. And we're going to be seeing that as a game three win from Cap, setting it as a 3 0 in his favor. Cap's going for that loser's final spot real carefully. Or real fast, I should say. I'm losing my mind right now. And unfortunately, looking at the bracket, it does look like both Husky and Revelo 2112 forgot to check in for their winner's final set. Damn, I DQing guess they're them both. Dude. Along with Double A. Unfortunate to see. Damn, it's a good thing we're doing this to challenge. But this next match we'll be having up should be, I believe, Fruit and Word. Which should be a fun set. We haven't seen Word in... I haven't seen Word in a good while. So it'll be nice this to see that. This is the first time on a stream. Yeah, I believe so. I bet they're also a remedy player. Uh, they did and enter right. last week's event. Uh, I don't know if they entered anything before that though. So it's fruit and word right yeah. now, yeah. Yeah, fruit and word. Not coming in with the the knowledge for us, letting us know where did compete prior to this event. I do think which, you're right though that they haven't competed since then. It, it is good to see them back. They were. They've been gone for a while. They're one of the old slap players from like 2019, I believe. 2018 even, maybe. They were just gone for a hot minute, but it's good to see them back. They've got a real nice break of the like Revelo Husky Remedy. They play more slow, more calculated. So it would be nice to see that for a change. 
Not sure if fruit has the lobby code. Somebody DM them to have them block. No bias. Wasn't a fruit already in the lobby? Who let him I in? don't believe so. They were. They were the first were game on stream. Them versus Cosmos. Which is magic. No, fruit. Cosmos was it wasn't fruit. It was Big Pungus, I was I was here. Oh yeah, it was. Time. You were you commented that. Yeah. I did. You're right. It is the same lobby. They had the code. But they needed it since again. Skill issue, I guess. That's why they lost to Cosmos. But no bias. They might have lost to Cosmos, but we'll see how they do against Word. I okay, low key fruit like second like has Rim as a secondary. I kind of want to see the ditto. I know I'm gonna regret I, that if it actually happens, but like that's I'm not gonna lie. I don't want to see that ditto. I've never seen one before. I don't even know what it's like. Is it a it's, lot of flash throwing behind mine? It's a lot of waiting until the other person decides to approach. If they don't, you kind of just keep. Okay, but can we like gentlemen like agree? No. No mine. Look, okay, there was a reason gentlemen used to be banned from Slap City. Why? It was because they didn't know what gentlemen meant. But. Wow. Regardless. He's waiting on fruit to get in his lobby. And then we'll be good to get that next set going. Word did have a connection test called on them prior this event. Or prior to this set in the same event. I believe it was the match right before this that they had. No. But we'll see if that connection is better, is worse, the same. We'll see if Fruit has better, worse, or the same connection. Damn, I don't even know if you could like time out DQ somebody on chat launch, but I'm about to DQ Fruit myself if they don't get up in here. I'm not trying to wait. Yeah, it's been, it's been a minute. It's been three. But, but they, they've been playing Slap City. Let me see if I can find them in a lobby. Now, I might just have to take some TO action and set this matchup. It's going. Cool. There we go. Just gotta spectate. And now dad is AFK. What did I do? Oh, they're, they're in the lobby. There go. Damn, I fell asleep waiting. Well, boys, you know what they say. Time for another round of Slap City, sponsored by League Trolley and the Trolley League. Thank you so much, Gummy Worm, for sponsoring. He's very kind. Little Gummy Worm guy. Do they say that? Like all of it? Yeah, that's that's what they say. Okay. Never heard it before. But I'm glad that's it's catching on. That's because you're not cool with you're not cool with the worms. I, being a worm connoisseur, I kind of know a thing or two. But we're getting into game one here at the 12 minute mark. What feels like? No, See yeah. Pepper, the starter. No, no ruins, which is blasphemy in that select community. But you know, whatever. I'm not mad. Promise. Ooh.
A little bit of lag. Waiting it out. See him. It's playing. Uh, See work got connection back. tested, and we, they sure did. How was that? You were the TO for the. I was the. I was the one that connection tested. It felt fine. I'm guessing it was just spikes that Husky experienced, but yeah. I didn't get any of those, so I couldn't do anything about it. Well, fruit don't seem to be bothered by it because they took the first stock pretty convincingly. This, you know, Pepper yeah. is a pretty decent stage for Jenny, am I right? Oh, yes. Pretty sure it's considered her best one of, maybe. All just because right. that lower ceiling from the platforms, it's just that much easier to get those kills. Yeah, I want to yeah. say it's something like 65 if fruit gets a grab on there. Up throw up air kills. Well, we're there at the percent right now, so we better find out if they mess around. We're just barely missing that mind confirm. It's a little heartbreaking, but at the same time, that, that was kind of a stretch. That was like an Olympic level long jump stretch. There we go. That's what I like seeing. Just letting the mind rip when they know it'll work. Bringing it, bringing it back to even stocks. We'll see if Fruit can capitalize on that. Continue. It. This is what I was telling Ray before. You notice how Fruit just caught word like on a bad recovery with just their special. I think <laughs> it was neutral beat. Fruit is so good at doing that. Uh, like out of any Jenny player that's playing right now, they do such a really good job of just catching your bad movement with just a random, sp just, like, just kind of tagging you, you know, smacking you on your neck, just letting you know. Fruit's watching. They know what you're doing. And they know you're not doing it well. Oh, missed opportunity for a Ooh. dare. Thing. That's scary. Work can take the stock right here. Oh. I'm not going to the second. I mean, I understand. Kind of rolls onto the stage. I, uh, that's one of Jenny Cat's nine lives, I guess. Or four stocks. Good job holding ledge right there. Good Bruce patience. Doing a pretty ledge. convincing job, like. This is this is just like intimidation tech just right here. Like first not really doing that much. Words just kinda like psyching themselves out from the looks of it. They're making like some pretty silly mistakes, but you know, it's tournament it happens. Not to me though, hundred percent win rate in NA. Big oh, UK yeah. meatball. Oh yeah, of course. You saying of course like sarcastic. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, check, of course. Heck, check of course, big of course. UK meatball and challenge. The only tournament I dropped was in EU. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Anyways. I'll take a word for it, but... Speaking of word... There's that mind confirm. Right when I said that, see, I'm like, I'm just blessing all these people's, like, games right now. Mm hmm But, we are seeing oh. word kind of make this comeback. I like that flash <clears throat> right there, I like that flash a lot, actually. They could have pushed that advantage a bit more, I think. But yeah, that could have turned into that, a ladder combo. But I feel like, like I was I saying know. before, this match they they like to take it slow, like just play as safe as they want to. So using that mine is just a wall right here. That fruit's gonna have to fight to get past, or not. Because, hey, this is looking good for hey, word right here. I'm not hey, counting them out really, anytime soon. It really is. I'm not sure on that new mind placement. Oh, I think that okay. Is All better. right. But that's an example of Jenny up there being Jenny up there on Pepper Pain. That's game one of fruit. Pretty, pretty scary game. Fruit configuring controls, turning on tilt stick, switching characters. Plug into the USB steering wheel. Yeah. Gonna be playing on this next match on the USB bowling ball for the Nintendo Wii. So we'll see how this goes for him. Not sure I agree with words with staying with their current controller, considering fruit changed theirs. Kind of seems like a rude move. But let's see how it goes. They are ready. Mind games. Fruit is voting for Sage. That's what's going on right now. Some mind games is going on. Despite it being fruit, words counterpick. Fruit. 
It's taking a while on stage. But we're getting into it. Getting into Null. I know, I know Fruit likes this stage. Because they can just kind of throw axes really late. No platforms uh, actually, getting on this game, so like... Throw projectiles really nearly. Facts? But I'm sure Word also likes this. Just because it's so much easier to control space with that mine when there's no it's platforms to be working on. It's basically just becoming like a who can control what kind of thing. But when Word sets up, they basically own it whether you want it or not. Definitely. I feel like... What's up? Definitely. I was agreeing. Thank you for agreeing with me, Big Pony. This is so funny. you. Right into the mine. Word's not really going for no ladder combos. That that was an easy combo setup right there. But they decided to go for the neutral air instead. I don't know if these is mis inputs maybe, but like... Uh, they're just... I'd like to see a little more. Maybe that's just the difference in playstyle between like Revelo and Husky and Word is that Word is not really trying to kill off the top. Probably because Jenny's so heavy. It's not really worth it at this kind of percent. But I would do it just to rack up some per like extra percent. Make sure like yeah, next time you hit a mine is guaranteed to kill. Word likes to play more around getting those neutral wins, getting those small hits, getting those little strings just to build stuff up, and then combo that mine for the kill. Good job on Word and punishing fruit for trying to camp with the neutral B right when it goes over like that. I don't know, two of their specials is just boomerang, so I don't know. We're using there. a good job of getting in know. using those boomerangs. Yeah. Those neutral bees. I feel like it's a 50 50 blasts. because sometimes Fruit's getting lazy and we're definitely starting to call him out now. I mean. But when Fruit gets away with it, they get away with it like pretty clean. It's kind of like highway robbery. Don't steal things, by the way. Stealing is bad. Fruit again oh. just getting in there with boomerangs. But. And taking that stock with it, even even in this game backup. Fruit better than anybody else is really good at hitting them like edge guard like four airs. I mean, I say that like there's a lot of people playing Jenny right now, but like they do a pretty decent job at it. They definitely like in a long set, especially a best of five like this one. They are gonna start reading the way you recover, and it's gonna get called out a lot unless you just know how to mix it up properly. I'm not sure if that was miss input, but Fruit went for the up tilt forward smash. I'm not sure if they're macro acted up or forgot that they were fighting a floaty. But. Macro actors be like, oops, I missed my kill confirmed. This is like. This is. I didn't even realize they both had. I was about to say, I didn't even realize they both had two stocks. That's crazy. Yeah, this is a pretty even game. Words kind of really going well for him. I'm liking a lot of like the riskier vertical movement. Especially when you know Fruit can just catch your ass at any point in time. And that's like one up air string to like death, especially if you remedy. Crab like, let's go. Barely missing that mine. That's definitely what Word needed. Cause that up Fruit is, almost up just died that in. down throw. Super early to bad DI. Was that a down throw? I that was down throw, yeah. I don't really know. Up throw is, is the. Like, the combo one? The combo one, yeah. Alright, bet. When they can chase. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Up throw, up throw, yeah, yeah. Okay, Word's doing the smart thing right now by. Okay, I was about to say. Going for little pokes instead of being overly aggressive, but they definitely just went overly aggressive and got punished for it. That was good. Just to Word? reset the mind, that was really good, but that's not going to be enough because Fruit gets the up. I don't think that was resetting the mind. I think that was them missing. 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 Yeah. I'm trying to be positive here. I'm, I'm looking at the best in all the players in Slap City. I, I got no room for your negativity, Punk. I'm sorry. But I could see them going back there. That was a really close game. It came down to that last bit right there. Yeah, I felt like, you know... Word definitely got a little too aggressive there. Got punished for it. Tried hitting the mine. Got punished for it. It's a matter of being patient. We'll see 
what this six safe pick is. Oh, excuse me. Yawning. It's too early in the morning for me. Yeah, what time have you been waking up recently? I woke up at 5 p.m. Yeah, well, it's 5 p.m. right now. I'm about to go to bed in an hour. Or after that. Sorry, I'm in a real time zone. It's 7 p.m. here. Okay, well, but I'm also not waking up at 5 p.m., so it don't matter. Look. <laughs> I'm existing in a real plane of existence. Oh, no double dare. I Speaking definitely feel like you could have gotten away with it. We're on Fancy Ruins, the only real stage in this game. See, see now this stream is just not so special because Macdon, Macdon got the uh, gummy worm stage map for this stage, so it's just, it's just not the same. It don't hit the same way. Ah. What's it slapping without a couple gummy worms floating around in the background? What's fancy ruins without some gummy worms in the background? Am I right, fellas? Next time, next time. Scary dance around that mine. Fruit is doing some dangerous stuff, and Word is not calling them out on it at all. I feel like. After that game, Fruit is definitely taking a lot of control of the momentum of these, like, fights. No way. No punish on that. That's crazy. That's the scariest thing. You see Jenny going, like, 300 miles an hour at you, charged air strong. I wouldn't have punished that either. Off the top, 102. Jenny Fox. I'm Fox. saying they're not at fault for the coming worms. Which they, I are. they are. They are. Nah, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm pretty sure. Walrus said that stage was made like today, so it's like. But next time for sure. So it's Walrus's fault then. Yeah, it's Walrus. We're blaming Walrus for this one. I mean, Get that Walrus. Oh my. But this game going. This is what I meant though. Like, I don't even think that mine would have hit. I, I was about to say where yeah. it didn't even pop it, but was, it's way too, too high up. up. Yeah. But yeah, Fruit is definitely dictating the pace of this match right now. And they're getting away with it too. They are dancing like in some dangerous spots around this mine. They're playing how they they're have They're baiting it out so hard. And it's like almost insultingly obvious. They keep running up on it and shielding like they're just waiting for it to pop. And it that was good. Just, that was a good working. follow up with a back air. Yeah. It won't kill unfortunately, but that good. will maybe? No, no way that's coming back from that. This is gonna be a down. Oh, no, down it! We missed down those. Down. But it's fine. All right, that's fine. Down get in there, get up. Catch that, get up with a grab. Get in the kill with the down throw. Though at this rate, if Word wins this game, it's gonna go to time, which will be interesting to see. I have oh. never seen a timeout before in this game. Me neither. And not since like. Sly versus Fumbles way back in the day. Fumbling. But anyways, um Fruit kinda just dancing around with word right now. They're actually they're pretty good at it. I don't know. Yeah. I Both kinda got too just... lefty when it comes to dancing like I and like that. Finally, like not that. shooting that vine. So, Word is able to get that off. I feel like Word is purposely slowing the pace of the match down, so Fruit kind of has to approach. Word is playing the Fruit game right now. I kind of wish Fruit would go back to having their name just be F. That's so I can go back to. Uh, wow. So I can go back to listing random foods. That was a good time. I think that was what me and Husky commentating. That was a good ass tournament. Good, good combo right there from Fettuccini. Getting the Fettuccini. Fruit off, fruit off stage. Or word off stage, rather. Fireweed. That was my favorite one. Fireweed was my favorite one. Wow, the, like, this is so weird. They're like inches away from actually hitting all these moves. There we go, right off the top. It's either real good spacing for the person avoiding or real bad spacing for the person hitting. I'm gonna go with the prior. It's either really real good, good movement or really bad spacing, yeah. yeah. That's and heartbreaking. Here, Every single time Word gets like an edge or like an opportunity to like bring it back, Fruit just kind of hits him with that, you know, game ender. Yeah. 
the upper and this off is the actually top. worth potential last stop of a tournament. See, we're learning, we're learning. Let's go, Big Pungus. I say Big Pungus, even though you're like skinny as hell and probably like short too. Look, How tall are you, Pung? Doesn't matter. Oh, you short, short. You short. Oh no, you know it's okay. You know short doesn't people matter. are cool too. Four eleven. I rock with it. You still my friend and everything. I like your hair. Just because I'm four eight doesn't mean anything. <laughs> That's the last stock right there. Fruit closing it out with the up air. Who would have thought? That'll be a 3 0 from Fruit before timeout, which is nice to see. Honestly. So, Fruit is <sighs> going up to fight Sandman, Fishman, and Losers. Quarters. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I see. I see. I see. Next up. We will be seeing Cosmos Cap. All right, bet. I feel like this will be an infinitely faster pace match. Get me out. Jesus. That's sad, man. Hopefully All right, Punk, bit, tell them to end their friendlies. Hopefully a bit faster of a match this time, but... friendlies right now. Oh, I forgot this is Tournament General. Damn. <laughs> yeah, you can't send gifts in here. I can though. Stop. <laughs> he just says you're <laughs> right. What a champ. All right. We spectating. Sad oh. man. That's not sad man. What's this Colin's guy's name? Captain BRB. Planet with metal arms. So I'm guessing it's going to start off with a, a nice ruins pick i'm putting 50 points on cosmos because i believe that's my boy i put one I'm never point gonna not believe in him for singular point on cosmos This should be a fun set. Cosmos is more aggressive. Cap is just kind of a wild card. Doing it or whatever he feels like, however he feels. We just gotta get into it once we can. Bernie slap in the chat, famous editor of Slap League. Yeah, that's him. Cosmos, 
Cosmos did hit us with a BRB as soon as he joined the lobby. Let's go, boys. He had to use the potty. Oh, I respect it. I respect it. And Cap also grabbing a drink. So even if Cosmos gets back at this moment, we're going to be waiting on Cap now. How tall am I? I'm six foot two. I don't know what that translates to in British, but like. It's not British. Whatever the fuck he's from. Fair enough. It's all the same. I think it's like 188 centimeters or some shit. I don't know. I'm almost six foot three. I'm like a couple centimeters off. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. You know six foot two, but it's close. Yeah. Six foot two and a half, you yeah. know? So just gonna be waiting on Cosmos to get back from this adventure he's going on with that 150 ping. You can tell he's getting further away from his computer. Yo, I was right. 188 is six foot two. I'm actually like the smartest human being alive. I did that conversion in my head. But... It'd be interesting to see if Cosmos gets connection tested here, considering. It's kind of it would be epic if we got into the damn game. That would be pretty dope. Sure would be. Punk, you trying to play around as zombies? Right now? Right now. We got time. We got time. Maybe. Oh, that ping is spiking. Oh. That ping is spiking. That shit went up to 200 <laughs> for me. I don't know about you. Oh, no, I saw that. I saw that. I had that. 298. Alright, boys, Skeet's back. He's not happy about it. Look at him. But he's back. He's happy in Discord. In Discord. But once he enters the game, different. Not man. on my own Cosmos emote on my Discord server. Yeah. Nobody knows the context behind it, but. Punk, is your hair still long? Of course. He said, of course, like I'm supposed to know. The last time I saw of anything of you is like from that Genesis, was it Genesis 8? Uh, Low Tier City. I never seen nothing from Low Tier City. That was the only event I, no, I had a set on stage at Genesis 6. Yeah, you commentated for a bit too. You were just nodding yeah. your head or something. I don't remember what the contest yeah. was. But... I was commentating with Rapidio. What a champ. You mean yeah. Chattiest? Dude? Yeah. Alright, while they pick a stage, you want to hop on Thirst Strike? <sighs> we could. I have not played that game in, since I was like in middle school and I tried playing the arcade mode. I was struggling, bro. I was struggling. I couldn't play Yang. I couldn't play Makoto. I couldn't even play Akuma. Bro, what is happening? I don't know, man. It's just what happens when you don't play no 2D fighter for the longest time. Wait on Cap's no. biggest stage, apparently. Smash.gg moment, I guess. <sighs> That's... Can we DQ the TL? Yeah, we can, actually. I need him to give me... I don't have TL. All right, fellas. I'm going to take this time to say that I love Trolley. They probably like some of the only candy people that I actually eat from. And that's not me saying that's just because we sponsored. I didn't even know we were sponsored until like a couple couple of days ago. I just I just think gummy worms are pretty dope. I think the googly eyes that they put on the gummy worms is really cute. Um I, I just think like I don't eat candy all the time, but if I do, I'm gonna eat me some like gummy worms. They got these really okay, so my friend lives by this like liquor store and they always have like the weirdest candy charlie has made these little cube things that have, like juice in them or something dude those things are insanely good those are real good <laughs> those are so good and he like every time we come over to his or i come over to this place like i get drunk he smokes you know recreationally uh legally uh don't smoke unless you are of the age and we're talking about uh tobacco Cigarettes. legally Something, and if anything that's you know legal in whatever state you're in, you know what I mean, like, and he's of age to do that because he's an adult, 
and we'll go to the gas station. It's not a gas station, liquor store, and we'll uh, just get some funky candy. I got a Mars bar. Do you even know that a Mars bar was a thing? Yeah. So, let's see if there's another set that can be played. Um. Okay, it looks like Cap said he's gonna go get a drink. I'm not sure if he's making it from scratch, if he's juicing the oranges himself, picking them off the tree. He's planting the tree right now as we speak. Don't worry, Rocky, just take your time. He still wins in the end, it's all good. I believe in yeah. Cosmos, and apparently the people believe in him too. Look at them predictions. Oh, That's 79% Cosmos. I, I voted on Cosmos. So you saying he's going to win either way? I don't know. Anyways, uh, I saw my brother today. He just randomly said that he got a gift for me, and he pulls out this little, little silk baggie. I open it up, and there's just a Rolex in here. It's like the finest Rolex I've ever seen in my entire life. Nice, so nice. I can unironically say that I'm like 21 because I got a Rolly on my wrist. That's a that's a rapper, by the way, Punk. I don't know if you know anything yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, I know. Be sure. Yeah. Carlos? Yeah. It's so nice, but the thing is, I got tiny ass wrists and I got big ass hands. So it's a struggle to get on. But it's like impossible to keep on because you know i got these massive hands trying to get like my hand through it to get it on is like insane but then my wrist so small that it's like still jiggling around jangling around it is so clean though it is so clean it sparkles it's beautiful i can't even tell time on it bro i can't even tell time on it but is the time right today it is not at all it's just it is it is not 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, it is. But you know what? Don't nobody want to tell no time on a Rolex anyways. They're just kind of wearing it to wear it. Wow, we waited all this time just for them to go ruins. That's crazy. Yeah. Thank you so much, Captain Planet with Metal Arms. Well, Husky SSBM suggesting that we dox our winners yeah. by actually just, sending them gummy worms is crazy. Let's just go to their house to make sure they're playing the sets from now on. You don't just like <laughs> during the giveaway. You don't you don't announce who won by their name. Congratulations to the person who lives on one two three East Bimbleton. You just gone. <laughs> you just want some gummy worms. Congrats. Congratulations, the owner of IP address one nine two one six eight. Zero two one three eight. All right, so BCM versus Fish uh, is probably one of the funkiest matches matches up because BCM obviously can get that money combo off of Fish so easily, but at the same time, it don't matter if Fish kind of just you know spits on you and you die instantly. So I think. It's just a kind of a matter of like who can get up on who first because Cap just wasted all of his money right now. So Cosmos is in the beneficial spot. Bene he's in the oh, better yeah. spot right now, especially since he's up a stock now. Yeah, this is huge for Cosmos. Cap a stock down with only $20. He has to make his resource before he can do anything. And like I always be talking about, it's a big, very important factor, especially in a match against a player as good as Cap. You want to make sure that when you have that lead, you death grip that. You want to strangle that lead. You want to keep that going as long as you possibly can. Keep that snowball rolling. Barely missing that dumbbell. That was actually, that would have been the crazy. I would have screamed. I don't even have that much energy. I'm kind of tired, but like, I would have screamed. That I was doing a weird. real good job of just making sure Camp can't get his money until he backered that. Can I? I don't think he's coming back. No, he's, he's dead. Cap could have gotten a good two taunts right there. <laughs> but Cosmos just keeping Cap under $200. It's very hard to do. 
There's one good combo and that's that's that money. That's potentially a stock right there. Oh no, misses oh, the down B. That's crazy. The down B. That would have been game changer right there. Cap would have been down two stocks. With no money, broke as hell too. That was a that was an air strong, oh. right? Yeah. That went by so fast, I didn't even know what the hell hit him. I thought Cosmos took that stock right there. Cap finally above $200 the first Uppie. time since the first stock. And well, now he's back down to 130 Cosmos is doing a really good job of just crushing him. Most of the moves that Cap's been hitting are not money-making moves. He's been hitting them side Bs. I saw a couple of Nairs being thrown out. There we but go. Man, just to get that 200 man, just to get, take that stock. My dog managing to jump on my lap, falling down. Your dog's really cool. Can you send a picture of him once this uh, game's over? Yeah. Thank you. I'll put it on Imgur, link in the stream chat. Why don't so you just post it on Discord it. and then post the Discord link in the chat? Why would I do that? Is that a lot easier, man? Alright, we're gonna see... Okay, ba Cap pretty much got a free recovery on stage right there. I'm not blaming Cosmos, obviously I'm not gonna act like I could do no better, but like I would definitely try to, you know, put a little pressure, kind of force Cap to use a fire sale just to get back on stage, because then he'd be down, you know, all of his money at that point. Another Ooh. chair. Cap has been really good with the chair. This the it does match. not matter if he just dies immediately after. Facts? Punk's been facts? Cosmos taking game one over Captain Planet. The TO in second seed. Alright, fellas. Game two. Are we gonna have to wait another 20 minutes to get into this one? Who knows? We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> Let's see if Cosmos' connection will jump up during this game. Because that could be a good factor in Cap's favor as well. Might even be what he needs, some would say. Me being some. I'm pretty sure Cosmos actually pretty consistently beats Cap at this point. Yeah? Is there like a record of like... Um, there's... How people fare against each other? There's one somewhere, I forget where, I don't feel like finding it. I mean, it's didn't we just work. drop the power ranking here, or was that EU only? That was EU only. Damn. That was EU and NASB only. You mean to tell me that American, you know, Slap City Online don't have their own power ranking for the last year? Yeah. Wow. But we're going to see Cap going his comfort stage of Sector. The only player I know that likes Sector. Hi, it's me. I like Sector. What's wrong with you? I don't care about competitive play and just like playing on the stage because it's got good music even though I got the music turned off. I just think it looks cool. Fair enough. I like the Galaga in the background. I like FODs in general. I, I would like this if it had a, a good FOD platform. Shut up. You're being toxic. Okay. I think um, if we learn anything from Halo Infinite is that we should be thankful that- Ooh! Good double fair combo. That was be a, thankful really for nice. money. Now, if we learn anything from Halo Infinite, is that we should be thankful that developers, uh, you know, got the game out. It's not like it's a job or anything. Yeah. Oh, nice dumbbell. Really good answer back. Cosmos? If y'all don't know already, Cosmos is just a sniper. I haven't seen him much this tournament, but he has hit some of the... I, I would say more than anybody else, he's probably hit some of the nastiest dumbbells I've ever seen in the entirety of Slap City. He's just kind of on it. When he like when he turns it on, he turns it on. Cap doing a much oh, scary better position. Two hundred dollars. Oh, fire doing sale a much on better that. job this game of actually making his money. Even if he hasn't, if he isn't keeping it and using it for would be kills. No, I saw the vision he with is, that fire sale. He yeah. just wasn't at the right percent for it. Yeah, but I don't blame him. 
high enough for that forward smash to kill, which happens. But even still, he is. He's generated a good 600 more dollars this game Fact. than he did at this point last game. He's doing a really good job of catching Cosmos, recovering high as well, or at least trying to move from a higher position. Because that up air is a scary move. Like, BCM's yeah. got a lot of scary aerials, and especially when his up air and his dare both like are his best, and they make a hell of, like a lot of money. He's doing a better job of using those tools, especially when Cosmos is kind of used at, at this point after the first game, uh, moving wherever he wants. Oh, he's putting him in the blender. Oh, just kidding. Raw flex. Into the chair. Yeah. Honestly, I can't even blame Cosmos. We all make the mistake. Do you hear it? You see it? He just glowing yellow. You still fall for it anyway. And now Cap's in the better position. $230 with a stock oh. lead. But 92%. That stock might not last very long. And there it is. Cap. Like clockwork, baby. Sort of... Do you have a jump? I don't know. If he did have a jump, he could have air dodged right there, but he chose the side B instead. Which is kind of a weird thing he's been doing recently. He's been throwing out a lot of side Bs, which... I don't know. Different. Historically, I haven't seen that move very much from Beast Games. He uses it as like a movement thing. It's like a, it's like a ghetto FCC, low-key. Yeah. He just uses it to like clutch. I mean, it is really good for movement. It's yeah, I agree. Command grab Especially grab around platforms. It, you can fast fall it. You can clutch it. You can turn it around. Oh, that's not a All trade that you want, especially at this kind of percent. Barely nice. dodging that forward strong. Cosmos is clinging on to life here, this but he's in a good position. Yep. Dodge just proving me wrong every single time. It's crazy. Yeah. So that's game two to Cosmos. Looking pretty good. Pretty convincing. <laughs> Damn. Paul is where we going for the last game. Let's figure this out. Where are we going, fellas? We not even typing in tournament general. Alright, I think we're just going back to ruins. Possibly. Smash.gg moment, fellas. <sighs> oh. Back to Ruins, we're going. Closing it out. Potentially, Cap's final game if he loses this one in the tournament. Well, that's a weird trade right there. I didn't even see what hit. Ooh, and that will be a stock already. Got my favorite Slap City player of all time in a Twitch chat, Dolphin Starbeam. Sir, yes, sir. Hoorah. I've been noticing this a lot. It's like they're playing like footsies except in the air. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like uh, Fruit and Burb where they just kind of throw moves out hoping that somebody's running into it. I didn't even realize Cap is down a stock. Cosmos must have like... Yeah, he... 
He got him off stage, down smashed him real quick. Cosmos is now in. the new quirked up white boy with a little bit of swag, but it's <laughs> the down sexual stuff. Cosmos is like goaded with the sauce. Second. Oh my goodness. What'd you say? I was wondering if I was going to take a second stock already, and it did. Yeah. He is kind of turning it up. He is really proving everybody that he is, in fact, goaded with the sauce. A little quirked up white boy. <laughs> a little bit of swag. Bro, he wants him off the damn stage, bro. He wants him off this damn stage. Caps whiffing moves, too. He's looking like me on BCM. I probably won't go that far, but... I heard the raw affair. It's not over till it's over. This is not impossible. He's made worse. Yeah, I mean, he's already back at 200 right now. 300. Mm -hmm. And if any character can make a comeback like this, it's definitely BCM. Once he gets money. Against fish? Hell yeah, that's a money magnet right there. Just a couple solid combos in your set. But you can't be taking these trades like this. Especially when you're like... Yeah, that's it right... Oh, no, nah, no, nah, he's still in it. He's still in it. Didn't even have to fire cell to get back on stage. That's perfect. That's like the ideal recovery right there. It's not over just yet. That's why you never give up. Cosmo's kind of going for a bit too much right here. And it is not closing the kill when he... I think he's it. just doing it kind of maybe to yeah. force out that fire cell and he got it. There we go. That's a... Uh, that's it. Cosmos taking it at 3-0, right? Yeah, that'll be 3-0 for Cosmos. It's the number four seed taking out a number two seed in this tournament. Go straight over with Cap, though. Like, Cap, obviously holding it down as the only BCM player. So, good showing. Played a lot of good games. It's my son right there. Not my son. He's older than me. Never mind. I'll take it back. It's my son right there. But Cosmos is going to meet whoever loses winner's finals. And I... Wait, no, no, no. Uh, Cosmos is going against uh, Sandman vs. Fruit. They did not... They didn't play. Not yet. Damn, okay, okay. We got a couple more games. Of... Alright, we gotta get these kids in here. And they are in there. It's got to spectate. Right. Yeah, yeah. You ever notice the spectating box on the right changes colors? You ever notice that you never sent that picture of your over dog that you said you was going to send? I don't have a dog. You were literally a liar. Yeah, I know. Post the pic. I win 64 bones, even though I only bet 50. I'm kind of balling out right now. I'm kind of going with the sauce, even though I'm not no quirked up white boy with a little bit of swag. There's a dog in my room. I just walked up. Get that dog back in here. I'm not turning on my cam, but. Come here, Moose. Come here, dog. Hi, Bubba. Look at this dog. It looks funny. Yeah, I'm kind of doing something right now, but it's whatever. Look at this dog. He stinks. No. I'm not playing either. I'm just spectating. Oh, Look at this dog. Oh, shit. And we're in there. Okay. Alright. Let's go, baby. 
Sandman Fishman vs. Fruit. Uh, sa oh, shit. All right, I'm going to move my mic. Punk, this is all you, baby. All right, we're getting in there. Sandman vs. Fruit. Sandman's a bit more of an oppressive fish I'll, player. I'll so that'd be a through. bit... Yeah. Be a bit different pacing from Fruit's last set we saw versus Word. So, see how this goes. Hopefully this one doesn't go to time. Fruit getting that nice confirm from side being grab. Ooh. Almost getting the kill off, but not quite. Yeah, good stuff on side man saving his jump. That's uh, after getting hit by Axe. The fair to Axe there, really good edge guard that Jenny has, but that means he can be very smart playing around it. That's still up very, to take the stop. Very interesting from Fruit to expect the roll from that far away when Sad Man can still react to them charging down smash. And yeah. just not. It's kind of a, a, a sunken cost fallacy there, where you're just charging this smash attack, you're like, well, maybe it'll hit if I keep holding in. But I'm really not gonna fall for that. Pretty even the punch stocks. Drops the punish. Nice fire axe into F smash, yeah, that's... Oh, that killed! Good confirm. into the stage, gonna take that stock, I'm giving Fruit that bit of a lead. Sadman can probably take the stock if he gets one good hit, oh, good yeah. flex fair, flex back air up B or something like that. More so than, I, I'd say any character, but uh, for all, or not for fish, can really blow up any. Um, oh yeah, absolutely. Not just with like, not just because he hits hard, but like, his ability to kill off the top and edgeguard Jenny are just so Ooh. strong, and it really helps against him, but... Fruit that making... attack actually taking the stock right there. Yeah, not gonna matter, it's just takes, a, takes the stock themselves. Back in the corner, what are they gonna do? Drops the edgeguard! Oh yeah, that's it. Oh, never mind. Nope. Not enough uh, frame advantage to dare a second time. Fruit Sadman's choosing not to, to go for the get attack to down to. Yeah. Interesting uh, choice. Sadman just kind of been dropping his punishes a bit as this game has been going on. Kind of not taking the opportunities he needs to. Uh, that opinion from Sadman is going to kill. He's dropping it a little bit, but as I say that, Sadman getting good punish going. Oh, but he drops it. Why do you think that's, that's getting one that thing? Grab. Yeah. Getting one that. thing you gotta be a uh, very. Good at this match with fish is edge guarding Jenny. It's so much off. And yep, just hold ledge. Not even needed to hold ledge. Just gonna make it back. That stocks are even. Oh, but that's. Ugh. And that was like the game one. Yeah, they up tilt the absolute wrong. Taking the game. Fruit, a really big. Uh... Really big fan of it. Um, they're. I always find it's a bit of an awkward kill confirm for Jenny because. Um, it's kind of hard to get in some situations, uh, it's kind of dependent on where they are when they get hit by the up tilt, they have to be lower to the ground, so, mm. it can be, uh, a bit more difficult than you would think to get it, but Fruit, really good at finding the opportunities too, um, where are they going to go? And Sadman? Yeah, connection test. Yep. Going to call connection test. Yeah, that's that's fair. I didn't want to comment on it, but there's definitely some some connection issues there. Fruit is streaming those. That could be the issue. <sighs> Fruit disagreeing, saying that we're not streaming. Oh, Sadman. yeah, Sadman just oh. running with it. Sadman calling off the connection test, huh? so we playing through it. I mean, Fruit did say like they they fixed the issue, so you know. 
that implies they know know what it's called. Hopefully it's good now. Yeah. Getting back into it. Sad man voting for stages. Uh, if Dad's still here, just anytime you want to hop back in, feel free. Yeah, thank you so much for the permission. Uh, I was waiting for your uh, A-OK. -okay. I think you got it. Don't worry. Right, so are you good to commentate? I'm just a little bit. No, bitch. If I was good to commentate, <laughs> I'd unmute you, my microphone. Are, I'm just trying to be Use your critical thinking skills. No bias, though. No bias. In a nice way. In a nice way. I was just a bit... Anyways... Go We're going to be getting into this game two here soon, sad man. Clearly got a stage in mind, readying up fruit, so just kind of... I mean, they're doing all their banning and uh, the time. Smash GG, I assume. And we're getting into it finally. Gonna be going back to ruins. Uh, I mean, I think this more is like a, a comfort pick, and um, uh, I feel like this is a pretty good Jenny stage. But I can see the logic behind it, aside from it just being like, you know, the stage everyone wants to go to. Uh, the mm -hmm. platforms can really help out uh, with the ledge trapping, or well, well platform, right? Um, when it moves overhead, uh, the upstrongs just aren't really a factor, um, and it can be hard for her other good ledge trapping options just holding there, but yeah, I'm already taking a shot. Yeah, and the lower ceiling kind of does help both players with yeah. their kind of go-to kills. For sure, yeah. Sad Man with his them. up Bs, yeah. Fruit with their up airs, or whatever else they like. I'll be a, a pretty strong kill option in this matchup because of how floating Jenny is. You guys often hop uh, earlier than you could expect. Fruit actually using the the cake flip to turn around into a back air from a down on the platform, which is something you don't see ever. Yeah, I remember months ago Cap was talking about this. Like, um, an option he likes to do a lot with his Jenny and yeah, Fruit, ever the innovator with the character. Uh, starting to implement that. It's a. Uh, you actually have zero frames, uh, or like one frame of jump squat on um, the kickflip. You just jump instantly. So, mm -hmm. um, the only problem with it is, you know, obviously you have to commit to like the startup distance of the down tilt. But options nonetheless. But we're gonna be seeing Fruit take that stock, bringing it back to Ian. Uh oh. Oh, good flex to stall. <laughs> oh, just... <laughs> Fruit just kind of giving that to him. Yeah, that was only true just... because of Fruit being on the ledge. Uh, not sure what happened there. Fruit just kind of dropped their controller, you know. Just kind of... For an axe. At that point, you know. You miss everything, you just kind of have to- OH MY GOD! Oh, does that mean could kill off this? Oh, and that- Oh, nope. Oh, yep. nope. I think Fruit might have been able to hold ledge, but- Oh yeah, Fruit could have definitely held ledge there and killed. I, honestly, it's a bit, like, hard recognize. to tell there. Yeah. yeah. But that down air will take that song. Giving Fruit this clean lead. Is that man with a good full stock lead looking to extend further? That could be dead! No. Not quite. Fruit knows how to see that. Yeah, but it's always scary there when you get hit with that flex there. It's always like, oh, you could just be dead. It doesn't matter the percent. Platform in their way, giving a uh, second easy time back on stage. Ooh, good hit here with the up. Gets the air. Fairness. Yeah, fair. Yeah, those down strongs are a little questionable. Cost for the game for it. Oh 
are we seeing? I believe 2 0. Is that man? Oh no, it's 1 1 now. So, we'll see where they go next. If I had to guess, well, actually no, Sadman's probably gonna ban Nord. Um, I just assume bans would be like Nord uh, and probably, maybe Pepper. I would imagine Nord and Null. I mean, I would imagine uh, like he'd leave Null open. It's not like uh, Fruit can go back anyways because of the DSR. Did they play Null, Null game one? I forget. Yeah, they did. Oh, okay, so, I was thinking they played Ruins there. Yeah, uh, even even then, like, uh, Sadman's still, like, a big fan of Nord. Or, or not Nord, sorry, Null. Uh, okay. My end, end's messed up. Uh, looks like they've decided on stage. I would not be surprised by a Pepper or a... Yeah, I... Return to Ruins here. Yeah, I'm... I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if, if, uh, if Sadman left Pepper open, because um, it's a, a pretty decent uh, fish stage too, although famously being, you know, pretty pretty Jenny favored for a lot of things. Fluffy. Yeah, Fluffy. Makes sense. Uh, pretty awkward stage for fish, so, so big. Yeah, get sharked constantly from those platforms. Yeah, you can just get hit, like, those platforms so easily. Good edge guard sequence. Oh! Overcommitting with the up B. Tries to end it all. Oh, they are strong back on the stage. Not gonna go unpunished though. And... It's actually gonna kill him even. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't have expected him to just die off that. Yeah. Might have been a factor of DI. Might have been few yeah. things, but maybe they added stealing for this match and now some a fresh up even else. Oh, big punish? That's not gonna kill though. No. But it's, a, it's good damage. Oh yeah. There you for just gotta a little throw greedy. axe. Yeah, you just wanna throw an axe there. Uh, just kind of like get rid of the resource and then edge guard from there. Oh! <laughs> What a combo! The tear into crap, yep. However, it's still just not gonna kill. Fruit has really just this entire step been letting Sadman back on stage. Does Sadman and Fishman have a lead in the video game? That's crazy. That's so odd. That's like so uncharacteristic of them. <laughs> I might have kind of not really doing anything with his lead, though. Isn't it funny how that works? Well, he's, he's about to take his next stock with a full stock lead. It's I don't pretty. know. I feel like Fritz about to close it out. Oh, no. Doing nothing on an air dodge onto the ledge. Fruit not knowing can just grab between the multiflexes. Boom. That's unfortunate. I definitely think Fruit could have... Yeah, there we go, there's a sad man stock right there. Fruit could have definitely teched, but they probably weren't expecting to hit the stage like that. I'll be mashing the hell of clutch whenever I get hit by anything, so. Maybe it's a bad habit, maybe it's not. It's a safety net situation. Fruit really doing their best to close this gap back up. Sam and dodging and weaving around these fire axes. Though. I've been watching it the end. Okay, never mind. Just the moment I said that. I mean, I that, that was on fire. fire. Yeah, it, it, it wasn't on fire. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And it's gonna kill. Bringing it back to basically even. Dolphin said, fuck you if you pick Fluffy. I'm gonna I'm a post uh, in clips the, the old fucking combo I got against your fish. All I did was spam up tilt and then I got like a double air strong kill. It was so bad. I kind of understand the hate for Fluffy, but I actually like this stage. Ooh, and that actually might be dead from Sadman here. Oh, nah. Drops that it. was just that was like some nonsense from both of them. Oh my god, oh. Sandman missed the easiest confirm of his life. 
fruit Stop literally it. handed that to him on an open platter and said, Hey, you go. Oh, oh. Kick my ass. Sid, oh my God. <laughs> He's sad man fish manning. Bulls players are kind of spaghetti some, out of their mind right now. There's some nonsense going on right here. It's the worm activity. Bless you. I don't know what that was. That was a sneeze. I muted in time. You didn't. You went. Ugh! Oh no! I, I blocked the big sneeze. Get up attack. That's the killer right there. That is the killer right there. Jenny's get up attack is criminal. And this might be no. I feel like one combo could end either of these kids right now. Oh yeah. Maybe not sad man. He's only at twenty two, but definitely fruit. Maybe fruit might be some it. crazy double dare combo. It's not out the picture. It's not, but it's very unlikely comparatively. Pushing up your glasses again on me, going, Well, actually, that's the pug inside of What are we doing? Down to the left, getting off stage. These aren't footsies, this is like putting a target on your back. Okay, yeah, yes. you deserve that. Yes. You sure deserve that. Instead of full hop to just deny. I didn't throw out any predictions, but I'm kind of glad I didn't vote for Sadman. Whoever put 500 on Sadman, I feel so bad for you. He's Sadman Fishmanny. He took control of that entire game and then completely choked it. He said, no more. It's getting bad. Connection test. All right. Well, so boys, I would be finally joining this lobby. It would not be a Slap City tournament if we was not getting connection tested. It would not be a prize pool Slap City tournament if there was no connection testing. Alright, let me hop in this lobby. Get these connection tests going. Anybody want to run friendlies right now? See how Just this give us your live is. commentary on the connection test. I've got a good 70 ping with Sadman. 70, 80-ish. Hit him. Fellas, this is a connection test between the Sadman, Fishman, and Big Pungus. Sadman is currently losing to my connection test keyboard goddess. Just well, this is, this is how you know that his connection is perfect because he's playing the way he normally does. Alright. That feels fun. That wasn't a rage quit, I promise. Yeah, bro, you rage quit. Was that an alt F4? Nope. <laughs> How come you got that dog profile picture still on Steam, even though it's not your profile picture on uh, Discord anymore? Oh, well, you know. I don't. That's why I asked. Oh, you know. Well, boys, you know what they say. Forgetful. Oh, 
Who allowed this stage? You're really bad at keyboard goggles. It's crazy how that works. It's fine. This feels this feels pretty fine. It's ten ping higher than what I had. It was sad, man. But it's nothing bad at all. Well, boys, that was the, the legendary connection test. So maybe now we'll actually get to watch a, a game being played. All right. You going to close the game or you go spectate? Oh my god, we we in it. Alright. See how I diplomatic I am, you know what I mean? Like I am so stern. They just listen to what I tell them to. I put them and play the game and they play the game. Thankfully they are at his stage streaking. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Grabbing the ledge. We're actually like taking stocks. <coughs> Something's actually happening. Fruits getting bear walled. The sad man fish man special. You know, if you squint your eyes enough, it might look like Fomachio is playing, but it's actually sad man fish man. I'm surprised sad man hasn't started using moonwalk bear just to throw up more bears. Facts. While approaching. Okay, sad man. All he needed to do was pretend like there was a connection problem, and once he was this is like placebo. Yeah, he was just getting the steam off. There was no lag. You tell him that, and suddenly he just starts turning up. It's almost like he's a good player or something. Something like that. Hit the... Alright, good air dodge from Fruit. I don't know what Sadman's doing now. I feel like just m whiffing that one up B has just completely deflated this man. Child. He's like 16. Oh no, Fruit. That's wasting your double jump. Oh, but that was good. It, it worked out. It worked it, out. Let's go. Sad, Otherwise, you would have recovered with that side with that air strong. Yeah, for sure. And solid fifty-eight immediately on this stock. And that might kill. No, fluff his big stage. Bad. Fluffy has ginormous side hitbox, the side blast sounds. I love Fluffy. Shout out to all my Fluffy bros. <laughs> and Sandman really going deep for that? Not sure if it was worth it. Probably worth it considering Fruits on his last stock now, but we'll see how it plays out. Sandman 2, 2 stocks, Fruit 1, Fruit, fruit on none. We're going on to game 5. He had two stocks. Last time I checked.
Well, fellas, this is what game four, right? Game five. Game five. Game five. Two two for both players. I think this is the only game five we've seen so far. It is the only game five of the event so far, yeah. Everything else has been like what three zero. Uh, three zero. There was one three one, which is Sadman Revelo. Sadman took a game against Revelo. Oh, he's Sadman playing Remedy. Took the the no game against his Remedy. Yeah, yeah. That's it. And that is the only game we've seen besides this one. Go well, boys, Nap you know what they say: time for a good uh, game five on Temple of No. Oh, that's a combo right there. Oh, it's that's even. That's what I meant to say, but my brain is like shutting off after all that connection testing. And by that I mean just the one connection test. <laughs> you you say the words connection test, and then the TO actually gets in the lobby, and then my brain just fucking deactivates. <laughs> but this okay, both players have been turning it up this in like past two games, so I'm kind of glad for that. Oh yeah, the last game took longer than the. The connection test look, took longer than the last game. Facts? Ooh, that must have been like really bad DI or something. I don't know. I feel like we all get caught doing that. You know, you're trying to like drift away in the air and you get hit. Next thing you know, you're holding out. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Fruit's getting a little greedy. I don't know. Lancy. Greedy, desperate. One of the words. Fruit has the ability to slow the pace of this game completely down, but honestly, good on them for not doing it, even if it's making them lose. Good work. It's Sadman Fishman like actually a, not choking a game. It's looking like a Sadman game, unless Fruit can manage to pull us back. Sadman said even. Uh-uh, he can't be making mistakes like that. That's the stock right there. Maybe? Oh yeah, we got no legend visibility. Nice air dodge to get back on stage. It didn't matter, but you know, that's all good. Free ledge. Keep in mind that Samak Fishman is our only resident keyboard player, except for Pung when he's connection testing, apparently. Gotta do what you gotta do. Facts. Oh, going for that greedy double down B. I kind of respect Ooh. it though. I respect the it. Get up attack. Taking the stock again. That's it. Fruit's been doing sure. a pretty decent job holding their own, but like literally the moment that thought entered my mind, he just got hit with the up strong. So I don't know. Up and B, that could be it. That's it. Is that it? Yep, that's a rage quit. They're disconnected from the lobby. Alt F4, Thank even. you, Fruit, for wasting six hours of our time just to Alt F4. Good showing. Uh, that was what? Winners or losers semis? That was losers quarters. On to losers semis now. Or Sam and Vishman Husky. versus Cosmos. I'm not sure if it's losers semis or winners it's finals. It's losers now. semis, then winners finals, then losers finals. And <laughs> and winners finals has it's been the sitting other way for. Around. It's winners finals, then. Then, uh. Just finals because you don't want to have person who just lost winner's finals play immediately. Yeah. What? It's, right, cool. it's winner's finals. Something like that. So we're going to be seeing Husky and Revelo after an hour and a half of them waiting. Them waiting? All of us waiting. Fellas, John know that you can subscribe to Slap League and get cool emotes even though we have no idea who the money is going to? That'd be great to support the community in such a kind way.
I also love Slab League. I love Slab League so much. I kind of want to see the Remedy Ditto. I and do. Revelo might be giving it to us. Good news is, this set we will not be seeing a connection test. Good. Nor getting a drink. Nor anything else like that. This one should just play. Who wins uh, Ito versus Rem? Rem. Why is that? Because Ito doesn't have too much to approach Rem floating around in the air. True, true, true. Both you see it a lot in the in the days of Fumbles Cairo. Not too much recently, because you know, no no remedies besides Rem or remedies besides Rev. Ever since I, right before I offered to, uh, to join commentary, I opened this protein bar. Yeah, you've been working out. It's just been sit. Yeah. Nice. Taking a bite out of the protein bar. You know, taking a note out of Hug 86 book. In match. Alright, we're finally getting into it. Fellas. What the hell? I see a Jenny cat on the screen. We're getting Husky Jenny. Fun fact, the character you started playing Slap City with. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure he switched to Fish when he found Down Throw Flex, or Flex Down Throw. I've never seen Husky's Jenny before, so this is actually new to me. He doesn't play too often. I'm sure the exact reason for tonight. Yeah. Might just be playing random. This is really weird. Because it's not like hyper aggressive or anything. It's like playing the character slow but smart. Almost as if. You can play like slow but not camp. That's crazy. As they both sit there in Yeah, I was about to say that was like that was they had to like stop and think. This is like even. some mind-bending stuff right now. Like, this is some actually really interesting gameplay, but I'm like so invested in it. There's not much to say because not a lot of hits are being connected. It's this more so just like movement from both players right now. This is looking very reminiscent in pacing to Fruit Word from before. Facts? Husky is catching Revelo on a lot of mistakes though. That's, yeah. that's the thing. What you would hope for from number one player and all that. Number one player. Fumbling was the number one player. When? Husky is just the replacement. Well, she said it on stream like multiple times. True. True. The number one Lucy Loud? Actually, there go, the mind confirm. First mind confirm was is ever hit in his entire life. Sage is in fact the number one Slap City player. He solved the game way back in the day. Fox. But 
Rebel is on his last stock. I low-key think is probably in his best interest to go back to Idol, but he's probably just messing around. I know Husky, if he ever plays against like one of the boys, he'll always just like mess around for like a, a round or something. Mm -hmm. I did ask the Husky about to get his shield broken. I don't know why Rev charged it all the way up. He is definitely just playing around. They are they are playing too much. Definitely, definitely looking like a, a husky game. Especially now that he won. We'll see how this next game goes, what characters each player plays, and they go him back immediately. You know the time in between. Facts. They Isn't want that crazy how you can just go with. from one game to the next? Kind of crazy to me, I won't lie. Alright. Game two, 30 seconds in. 70 damage taken. Some damage. That was actually a really nice tip. I don't know how he hits those. Sometimes I'll be playing Remedy and like free for all just to have fun. I never hit no tipper in my life. I hit like once, maybe, maybe on a good day. It's like years of practice. This game really has been out for years. When did it like fully come out? 2018? Uh fully like last year. I know that. I, I should have meant like when was it like available to purchase? 28 early 2018, late 2017 maybe. It's so crazy to think that Ferland was the 1.0 character, like out of yeah. beta. Oh, that's crazy, they didn't kill? Jenny must be fat as hell. It's crazy to think we're getting directly from this patch, which included Frolin. Next patch, a new character. Fox? A new character and a new weekend. platform. Maybe this next character will be played. Fox? Shoutouts to Vic for being the only person who can stomach playing for land. Shoutouts to Vic for being the person I used to play against every week in Bracket. Damn. There wasn't discrimination against me. No, that was back when Netcode was insane. It used to be really good? No, that, yeah, the Netcode used to be really, really good. What happened? Everything changed? Uh, they switched to a un different Unity build. Oh, cringe. Yeah. Well, boys, what? you know what they say. Revelo's already down a stock. Yeah. But actually, I was about to say, this is a perfect opportunity to bring it back. That's like perfect position for yeah. a mind combo. And there it is. And this Rebel's is closing it out. the bringing it back. Oh, he really is the number three seed for a reason. My right, fellas. That's off the top. Yeah. The classic. It's like, it's insane to me. Like... I complain about Remedy Ladder combos, but the Jenny combos is just so much easier. Well, that was only a place, or that only happened because the platform was moving the direction that he needed it to. Yeah, facts. So, I mean, they pay off Ruins plan. This man must be making the most money out of anybody in Slap City. There's a reason for his Steam name. Facts. Almost getting that forward air, which would have taken the game, but Rev's able to space out of there, get out of there. Almost take the stock, not quite just yet. Rev is doing a real good job of not really taking a lot of unlucky trades. Although I, the moment I said that, I, yeah, close nice trade. I was just him get hit. Yeah, facts. But I was bring it to two zero, and. We're either going to see a Husky 3-0 or a Revelo 3-1. So I told you Revelo's going to lose because he got the like, anime girl profile pictures. I believed in him, but at the same time, like, you, you, you got to support your kid, you know what I mean? But like, at the same time, like it's the anime that's holding him back. 
Husky's just got a funny star guy or girl, I don't know. The profile picture. Isn't that like, uh, was it Legend of Starfy? Oh, right off the top. Yeah. What a boomerang. Let's go. Starfy. Something like that. Some good shit right there. And this is basically beat. like the most Ooh. optimized I've ever seen like Jenny in such a long ass time. Ever since TJ. Basically. Facts. TJ was so nasty with it. I'm so uh, like I never thought I'd ever say this in my entire life. I'm glad he plays Idle. Because if I had a fight as Jenny, I'd probably be crying. And that's like a better matchup for my character too. Ooh. And I'm a heavy floaty too, so I have the best chance of getting out of that, but I still don't. If we get these lines back, we'll be seeing all that again soon. I'm sure. Yeah. Good use of the air strong. Use the bomb. Really? Thanks. It's a trade even if you didn't want it to be. Mm -hmm. I like the combo off the air strong. Let's go, Revelo 2112. Little baby boy, my adopted child. Revelo is looking like a fucked up white boy with right a little now. bit of swag. Oh, never mind. I take it back. He is not busting it down sexual stuff. So. Potential last stock for Rev and Winter Side. I wouldn't even say potential. Nah. This is his He's number three stock. for a reason. Could bring it back. It's only three stocks. I like that. He didn't have to do that. He just did it for the disrespect. He knew how he was going to attack it and put him in a bad position. Nope. Oh, that fire axe hit. That's some scary business right here. The down smash, the only time that move has ever killed since being nerfed. I remember the old clips of uh, people hitting the taunt confirm into it. Oh, yeah. Oh, Bring that back. Bring back I mean, it's still well. in the game, but like... You can't do it anymore. Had... Really? They... yeah. <laughs> they added more... I think they added more in lag to down smash. Or more startup to down smash. So it's not true anymore. They gotta just add more hit stun to taunt, honestly. Thanks, just make it completely... Give it as much hit stun as Fire Cell. They taunt too, that's crazy. And that'll be the 3 0 from Husky and win his finals. Let's go, boys. So next up will be Sad Man versus Cosmos. A nice, nice fish, Tito. Sad Man versus Cosmos. Let's see if Sad Man can pull it back. Sadman apparently has beaten Husky in bracket before, so. He was has. It in bracket or was it in he has. Yeah, it was in bracket. He's taken one set. Let's go. I think after this set, I'll probably give Malk the permission to commentate for me because I am so tired. I don't want to bring down grand finals. Especially on the first trolley league, it slappins number six, first of many. We do got to find out if it's trolley or trolley. It's trolley. I just say trolley. That's what I've been calling it for the longest time. I see. I see. All right, boys, let's get a prediction on Sadman versus Cosmos, please. Don't swear. Let's get these predictions up, fellas. Let's see. Let's see where these two go for game one.
Let's see where these two are at because they're not anywhere I'm seeing. Okay, this is I can't check. I can't check those logs. But it looks like they're they're set or on something. Sadman's ready to up. Cosmos will follow suit soon. Well boys, you know what they say. It's always time for a good time is Slap City. Punk, if you're spectating, I'm gonna stop screen sharing. Alright, baby. Nope. Alright. Alright. Well, boys, you know what they say. I'm going to keep saying this until somebody knows what they say. I feel like uh, between the two of these, Cosmos definitely has the better record. Because Sadman, as we already know, just has a history of choking against good players. But he kind of busted it down <laughs> sexual style with fruit. So, I don't know. Sandman Fishman might be a little quirked up right now. Just a little bit of swag as well. Boom. Boom. Don't follow up though. Not enough jumps. Yeah. Oh, but he accidentally yeah, used no the air strong already. Either. That's actually really good so for that'd him. Be, that'd be unless, yeah, okay. There's the sniper right there. Big unless Cosmos does that. Standard fish ditto. Just constant back and forth. Constant SD. Facts. Constant burning of resources. I really do like explosive fish dittos. This is some of my favorite things in the entire game. It's fun. It's fun to watch. It's fun to watch, not fun to play. I am the worst fish player of all time. Agreed. But you know, that's you not never, you ignore that. You ain't never played my fish before. Didn't my Asha beat your fish? My day one Asha beat your fish? I might have. And you've played this game since what, like 19? Who gives a shit? 1908, yeah. But, ooh. Oh. Seen a bit of the connection spike. Looks like Sadman called that connection test on himself earlier. Facts? Facts? Is Pink's the only one that's going up? Oh, yeah. All the way to 200? The Dubai internet's going on right now. Sadman flexing that teenager hand mashing Cosmos does not have looks like Cosmos he's waiting it out kick his ass kick his ass Cosmos don't let this boy sit here oh my god they're icing in the middle of the game bro they're icing in the middle of the game it was all tactical sad man just he got the switch going on and everything he said mom flip the switch I'll plug the router real quick 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 got the router under his desk just Kicked it real fast. Yeah, who would ever do that? Am I right, boys? I know I don't have a button that turns my. Oh, barely missing that dumbo. A lesser player would have uh, fallen for that. Sandman is up a stock right now. Yeah. Cosmo's still looking to close it out, which is again one of the scary positions because you don't want to be making or taking hits. Sixty-six percent ain't that bad, but it is down throwable, so it is back to even. Unless Cosmo does not know. It's, it's 100 0. Oh, okay. what are you it's saying? even. Yeah, it's even. It's even. All right, stop. Was, I'm not going to knock your foresight. All right, let's see. I'd imagine they could be going back, going to ruins, going to pepper. Really, any of the legal stages they could be going. Sad man of viewing stages right now, seeing what his character pick's gonna be. Really, I, I think he should go back, because he basically had that game won. But that's deed. Last minute. But it is a fish ditto. It's basically just a coin flip. So, yep, we're going back. Let's see who plays this one better, who plays it worse, who loses the coin flip, who wins it. If Sadman's connection decides to go out the window again, looks like it did.
but see if they're calling a connection test. Well, boys, you know what they say. Hey, it's not a Slap City tournament unless it's got a connection test. This man just needs to DQ himself, bro. He's waiting for bad ping sea waves to pass, smiley face. Connection test this man and get him disqualified. Mr. Alexa, send him to the principal's office and have him expelled. They said they're waiting for the bad connection to pass. This is game two. Getting into game two. A few minutes in. Won't matter, it's a fish ditto. Fox? Now, if this happened for any of the remedy matches, it'd be different. This would matter. It would come down to time. Basically, guarantee. Yeah, I'm not tweaking. Uh, right. Sandman just tried to apply that as Cosmos that's lagging, but on my screen, it's saying that Sandman's uh, ping is spiking. Yeah, it's in my mind, but... Or maybe it's both of them at the same time, I don't know, because... Yeah. Cosmos is going up like 5, Sandman's going up by like 30. We'll see how it goes. But, in the meantime... In the meantime, we're seeing Cosmos just melt Sandman stocks. Box? It's been a minute since the game started. That man is on his last stock. started. That might be it right there. Oh, I thought that was gonna hit his legs, bro. I thought that was gonna hit his legs. That's it. Cosmos will take game two, making it a 2 0. -oh. We'll see if. Sandman calls that connection test. We'll see if Cos Cosmos calls that connection test. We'll see if they just get back into it. Looks like they're just gonna be getting back into it. Sandman is voting for stage. Cosmos is idling, waiting for Sadman to strike stages. Looks like stage is decided. We get back into it for game three. Back on well, the boys, you know what they say. Back at it again. In no for game free. Say Never. game free because that man fishman is exactly that completely free. Never a dull null moment. As they Never say. Never a dull 
Never a null moment, am I right, boys? No, there's been three null moments, that's why I didn't say that. It's all been null even. Stop. Oh, and that will kill. Probably. Cosmos crazy. almost that getting the angle he needed. That actually hit. But, but it didn't. So sad. Did you said the get up yeah. attack to cancel out that forward air. I thought the forward air was gonna beat it out. So I meant actually having the lead this game. Sadman so getting the better RNG. I feel like Sadman is starting to take control of the pace instead of you know, letting Cosmos dictate it, even if it means it play, or even if it means playing slower than he's used to. I like it though. I'll be the. There we go. Off stage yet again. Sadman's got a pretty, pretty lead. Yeah. It's looking up for him and down for Cosmos. All Cosmos needs are a couple of good, couple good hits, like that. That'll work. It's basically back to winnable Cosmos. Not. If said man capitalized on that though, which he didn't, but it is basically back to you, despite that big lead said man had. And that is the only time I've ever seen that side of Noel actually come to play. The left in side. Bracket. Yeah. Did he do the funny thing? He, he did. He did the sub 50 down throw on no. Let's go, boys. That might be the only time that has ever happened in tournament. <laughs> Probably the only time that's ever happened in tournament, even. And I don't imagine we'll be seeing Null again. Probably not. Into Fluffy. Everybody's been showing Fluffy some love. I kind of like it. Yeah. Usually don't see it too, too often, but this event, they're kind of just all going for it. You know, I've seen Saturn take that early lead, which, which could be pretty big here. Seven has the lead. Yeah. Just kidding. Head. It's even now. Yeah. One hit from Cosmos and it's back to even. Facts? Yes. Is the combo? Just kidding. He dropped it and now nope. Sadman's got the combo and the advantage right now. Dude, poking through platform is so crazy with fish, especially in the ditto. Mm -hmm. Down there is a crazy, scary move. You don't really understand the like fear of it unless you play a tall ass character who gets actually poked through it. When I was playing Asha, I was like, damn, I'm like, I don't know what fear is like anymore. It's crazy. 
not Crazy having to crouch to not get hit. Facts. Basic Sandman combo. Let's go, baby. Four there. Back to That's a stock right there. Cosmos on his last stock for this game. To a one to two right now. Cosmos. We've seen Cosmos win this before. I think he does that though. Oh, that's Where? it right there. Just adding insult to injury. Man, literally smacked him right in the neck. What? Game five. Cosmos does have a reputation of kind of just getting reverse 3 out sometimes. Let's oh, see if boy, he can stop that. This it's not time. really reverse 3 0. Was it not? It's just called the reverse sweep because if it was 3 0, then the thing would be over. And reverse kind of implies that it starts 3 0, and then. I think. I don't know. Anyways. Well, boys, you know what they say. Time for game five on Fancy Ruins. Am I right, boys? I feel like they are going to go to Meadow Valley. There's zero shot to go to Meadow Valley. You think so? Yeah, there's zero shot. They are not going to Meadow. They're probably going Pepper or Fan. Ruins. Probably ruins. But we'll see. Once they get into well, it. Boys. There we go. Oh no, that's nasty. I don't. Is this? I don't really like this. I don't like the way the stage looks. I don't like the music. I don't like the little eyeball freak. I like the. I like the guy. He looks like you, low key. I can Heights see the that. same and everything. I can see that. Yeah. Whose pick was this? Cosmos. Uh, yeah, Cosmos. I'm so I'm disappointed. Man, banned. You are a hero. You were supposed to be the savior of Slap City. Amigo in that background right there. Pretty even. It is yeah, relatively it's, it's even, even. Loki. It, it's just even. This is like the slowest fish that I ever seen. Like, see now it started off with Cosmos dictating the pace of the match, but now Sadman's pretty much is, and he's not playing the same way Sadman usually plays because he loses versus Cosmos. Like the Cosmos for whatever reason is playing along, and it is not helping him at all. Yeah. Just how congested this stage is kind of plays a big part in how slow this matchup can feel, I'd imagine. Because Fish gets a lot of just moving around, but these platforms being everywhere basically. Which makes it so we kind of can't. Oh wow, Cosmo's potentially on his last stop. Sandman Fishman has the ability to be a good player? First it was Fruit and now it's Cosmos? SC? Damn. I never thought I'd see it today. There Two we players. Sadman 
is going on to losers finals. But beforehand, Damn. we gotta settle. Actually, no, I'm lying. I'm lying. What are we settling? Played. Nothing. I, I lied. I'm dumb. You are. It's sad man Revelo. All right, well, boys, you know what they say. I'm gonna hand the mic off to uh, what's his name? What's this kid's name? I almost called him Reddit Gold Champion Malk. Uh, yeah, I'm leaving. Good night. I love you. Thanks, Punk, for being here. You didn't have to, but you did anyways. All right, goodbye. Yeah. Peace. I got it. They got Stark Sages and all that. I'm sure Rev's gonna try to go to Ruins. Sadman's gonna say no, he's gonna strike Ruins. Or he won't strike Ruins, actually. Nah, he won't go to Ruins. I don't think I've seen him go to Ruins at all. I'm not sure with money on the line. But looks like they're settling it. Sadman's voting. Ruffalo is saying hi. There we go. And we're getting into it. I, I think I saw that, but we'll see if we can do that again here. See? It's fine as long as Rev takes it, and as long as Sadman actually clutches a dumbbell, but he didn't, which kind of caused him that, that stock. But... <clears throat> I mean, taking only about 60% or losing that stock, which... Also, Malk, you're muted on stream. Thank you. Sorry. I said nothing important other than shoutouts to the crawl. Yeah. Oh, the reverse edge guard, though. Rev. We're, we're getting home there. Oh, but the fish killer to answer that back. Would... Yeah, he can just <laughs> go back. Yeah, that's what's brutal in this match of it. Sadman. Bring it back to even. Sadman was actually asking about how to deal with this uh, either today or like yesterday. Oh no! <laughs> Barely avoids that dare. Oh my god! <laughs> I. I do believe... yeah. Rev actually knocked Sadman into losers. So it's actually a rematch. Yeah, wow. Only match that Rev lost 
to Sackman was when he switched to Remedy on Null. Okay. So we may be seeing that change again, probably not. Try to stick with Idle his entire set. And if we do, it'll be a bit of a tough time for Sadman. Oh, it'll, uh, Rams it'll, or not Rams, sorry, Revs it'll, uh, really, I think it's way better than his Roman now in pays most situations. I feel like whenever I play him, no, no, no shade to him, but I feel like he just beats me harder with, a uh, it'll, so. I think Revs starting to realize that too. Oh, what a good string! That man starting game two off strong. Rev trying to make his way back in, but Sad Man just first he's gotta get suffocating out. him. Yeah, he's got to get out of disadvantage first. Get a clean hit in, but Sad Man's just not letting that happen. Oh, that's dead! And that, that'll be another kill. Two quick ones. Never even seen a 113. No, I, I, I wasn't gonna quote the full thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Fish killer. So hard to deal with. I feel like that's one of Revlo's biggest strengths. Is, is his consistency with the butt edge guards, especially like whenever he's oh, yeah. played sad man, it feels like you know, so so brutal. Yep. And that's another oh. stock right there. But it has to be a trade. Yeah. So he's still at a same deficit amount, but it's much scarier oh, yeah. time to have it right now. Oh no, no dare? You could oh. pay for that, but still an advantage. Catching Sandman's air dodge. Getting a little overzealous with that up smash, but fortunately didn't uh -oh. punished for it. Oh, missing that butt there. Yeah. Getting it this time, bringing it back to even. We'll see. I have to <laughs> see. Oh, that was so scary. Sandman just in his face. At any moment during that respawn invincible, could have just got it smacked. That's not gonna kill yet, but it's gonna be super rough for Sad Man, alright. Sad Man definitely in a rough spot oh, here. Oh, that's dead, yeah. And that, no longer in that rough spot, but <coughs> this will bring it to 2 0 for Revelo. Rev. Yeah. So, let's see if. I'd imagine Sad Man switches stages here. Yeah. Um. I mean, Rev might ban be banning, uh, you know, Neldo, and yeah. you know, it just could be like a, a, uh, you know, a, a, a secondary pick. The uh -oh. Sandman did ready up pretty quickly. They might have just agreed to all ruins. Yeah. Yep. All and that's that's what it's looking like. All ruins, assuming, you know, that man doesn't lose here. I mean, last game definitely, like, Sadman looked like he had it, but like, he's, he's able to just string some good punishes together. Yeah. That's the life of fish, you know? Just gotta ha be ready for that to happen to you. For as much as you can just rack on so much damage and build a big lead, it can just crumble just like that. Oh yeah. That's just the nature of fish. Nature of slaps. Nature of fish and nature of fighting, it'll do. <laughs> yeah, that's dead. Oh, never mind! He's not dead? Okay. No, he's dead. <laughs> I was gonna say, that. I can't believe he made, he made the recovery, though. <laughs> Good tech on the platform. He's going for it. Acro Bear? Oh, no! I don't want a dumbbell there. I was gonna say Sadman has another chance, but it squanders it with the dumbbell. Oh, wide open. Uh oh. 
doing every tilt except the one that'll hit there. Yeah, they're both kind of scrambling at that ledge situation there when uh, one of them misses the edge guard and then the other just grabs the ledge. They're kind of missing the opportunity to punish there. Both ends. Good DI will save Rip. Death. Oh, that Nair still hit, and I don't know if Sadman could have upbeat there, maybe steal the kill. Oh, Ooh. Fastball. and accidentally getting the fastball on that down B. Yeah, I mean, Sadman's been going for the, the clutch down B's a lot lately to recover, and they're just accidentally fastball. Pressure's getting a little bit, but the way he's playing right now doesn't look like it. Now it's Rev's turn. That, oh, misses the oh, sweet spot! Misses the spike, mi misses the opportunity to kill there. Sandman but take the keeping the pressure up. He's on life. Oh my god. Rev recognizing that would knock him off the stage and capitalizing on it. Such good awareness. There. Oh, there. Oh, this could be it. Alright, not quite. Rev got that there. That man knew to recover very low there. Oh Ooh. no, not like that! And that will be 3 0 in favor of Revelo. Yo. Calling for the rematch with Husky. Husky and. In the grand finals. Grandest grand. Oh, oops, I didn't have the overlay updated. My bad. Still said loser send. Will Husky be going in green? Oh. I would guess Jenny. Hey. Set one. If he loses, which I don't think he will probably. I mean, has Husky, Husky hasn't dropped a game, right? I don't think so. Yeah, no, he hasn't dropped any games yet. Granted, he's only played three sets. He did get two buys. No. <laughs> thanks to DQs. But. Yeah, he's just sticking Remedy here. Or Jenny here. I would imagine it, Rev's gonna stick it'll. If he wins this set, Husky will probably switch to like Goddess or Fish. Oh. Just to secure. That's fine. <laughs> That's what the holdup was about, at least I think. Husky at least showed some concern. Yeah. Alright. Ruins start. These are two ones gamers. He's opening for Rev. Alright. Good recovery from Husky. Be a super rough situation recovery for covering from blue as for Jenny. I was gonna say Husky is just kinda nickel and diming his way back to even percents right now. Hey, sometimes it's just yeah. what wins games. Yeah. When they're uh when they're above the stage like that. And they have their jump up build up F strong is not gonna Fair. Ooh, reversal. Oh my god! Speaking of reversal. Much air strong. Yeah, speaking of reversal. Back. Almost hitting him with the air strong. Down tilt on the front of the take it. Even with the team, this channel's seasons. Big 48, and oh. it might have been all from Nair. Catching him with the Nair, stealing the stock pretty early. They're making 
excellent use of the... Rev is just really good at turning off, like, the Sour Spot there. Sour Spot there not having uh, a whole lot of hit stun, but Rev is just really good at just spacing it, so he can't really be hit out of it. Both players doing a real good job this game. Husky just being able to take stocks real convincingly, but Rev constantly just takes it back right after, yeah, keeping Rev's, it even. I'd say Rev is hitting harder on average, but it, Husky is just hitting death more often. Like he's getting like the, you know, the kills a lot earlier. Not really with big strings, but more just like finding the good opportunities to just make it. Yeah. He finds his windows for the kills and just goes for it. If it works, it works. Oh, not converting off that, uh, that air there. Oh, man, another good dare from Husky. Catching him out of the startup. Going right back into it. I think one of the big problems, uh, Rev is like, past like, he was getting like good strengths, but like, he just wasn't killing what he needed to. Compared to like Husky just, like you said, stealing stocks pretty early. The damage no. to 10. I always love the uh the butt clutch up air, it looks so beautiful. <laughs> Edge guard, this is where for Rev's been getting caught a lot just set. Rev just losing that exchange there. To us he's get up tech. And the upper upper. He's also been like doing a really good job just sneaking past these mud edge guards. Oh, he could have grabbed Ledge, could have dared, but Husky not ready for it. Private corner. Kill scary versus Jenny. Wait, there goes shot. Rev taking that stock. Getting it back to even almost. Just oh need to get God, to a that, bit more that's percent. Aggressive Nishi. This might be a stock taking exchange, never mind. Like, towards the end there, it was just like, I don't think Husky could have done anything. To, my god. Uh, could have done anything to take the stock. Whatever, just cleans it up on the next exchange. Just new coin. Man, Husky just weaving around these buds. He can't look ineffective. I mean, that's, that's kind of just the strength of Jenny, right? Just with all that, all that air control, she can just kind of weave between everything. Yeah, it can be a bit tricky because um, Jenny's recovery, despite like, uh, you know, how, how much aerial drift she has is a bit uh, linear, but if you're good enough at the game, you can just make it look like a non-issue. Got these P shields. The shield pressure you're just waiting it out. Right. God, all these P shields. Well, that's dead, yep. Here to up here, the Jenny Classic. Oh. Husky doing a, a good job too of reading his DI on uh, down B's and up airs. That's kind of the uh, the the tricky part about the new string for any up air is if they um if the if they DI the the opposite way of your, like the, with your momentum, uh, you can't really follow up off of it as hard. But uh, Husky doing a good job mitigating that. <laughs> That one actually uh, helped him out there. Like, 
collate the uh, the air strong enough where you can just get the up strong out. Airpod? Yeah. I was muted for a second. Oh! Up till death strong, taking it. And that'll be 2 0 in Husky's favor. We kind of see the quick 30. 30 Husky and might three. win this event without dropping a game. I mean, I wouldn't pass, put it past Husky. Husky. They're just getting back into it. This back is to motivated rooms. Husky. Husky wants that, was it $70 for first? $70, 30 per second, yeah. A bit odd that it's a top two payout, but it's what it is. Shout out to Trolley for the That's sponsorship. Husky's, you know, Jenny is a secondary, and he doesn't really do a lot of, like, the, the more, <laughs> the more, you know, like, deep, like, labbed out stuff you'll see from Fruit. What Husky does, he just sticks to what, like, the basic stuff, and he's just so good on the execution of it. Yeah. Just his freeze and it's just movement and everything. He doesn't need all the, all the technical stuff. Just the basics work. Quite gonna kill, <laughs> but this is the tech. I, mean, I wouldn't have expected the tech there. I thought you know, getting launched back on stage. <laughs> Get the town beat out. Oh my god! <laughs> Sweating a little bit there. If I was Rev, so close to just getting. I'd be sweating this entire game if I was Rev. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I imagine, you know, these two are in a call laughing. Long oh, absolutely. Friends. Probably not sweating it too much. Maybe, maybe, you know, try hurting a little bit since, uh, there is money on blind. I'd imagine they're in there, just talking shit. As they do. Oh my god. Rev, Rev getting a little, a little frozen up in his movement. That's just how he plays Aaron Axes. He does the same thing in his fruit. Okay. Conversion. Oh, finally reads the tech, but. Ooh. This is out. It'll stubby arms make him miss there. Bro, okay. Potential last stock of the tournament. $40. Uh, $40 difference. And basically, yeah, it's basically a $40 money match. A $40 money match right now. Oh, some blood here. Oh, Jenny's gonna get upset about that. Alright. Just waiting it out. Nope. Oh my god. <laughs> Not gonna end it with the air strong. Acro. Final lease on life. And nope. Yeah. Constantly. He's, he's gotta be super careful it's, here. It Anything just looks like kill. it keeps ending. Yeah. Yep, there's the up air. And that'll do it. And that is Husky winning. Trolley League Slap City one Slap City one. It slappens six three oh without dropping the game at all in the bracket. Yeah, uh, good stuff to him, you know, Dominant yeah. has all wins. I mean, you know, this is just week one, but I'm hoping in future weeks now that there's more, you know, a monetary incentive to people just coming out of the woodwork, you know, putting in the work to end the reign of Husky. It might happen, might not. I'm sure more people will start playing, absolutely. Yeah. We we see new players every every week basically, especially with 
Nick's kind of losing its player base. Yeah, they, they, We're seeing a lot of them actually come in yeah, and start playing. Yeah, thanks for uh, poaching the Nick players. <laughs> yeah. But, Let's... with that, that's the tournament. Yeah, that's the tournament. Uh... Huge thanks to everyone who entered. How many entrants were there? I looked at the bracket. Um, like, uh, two. There were twenty-four. Twenty-four. Entrants. Twenty-four for the the first uh sponsored. So, I mean, is next week another trolley, or are we doing something different? I'm not sure of the schedule um, right now. What do you mean? Every weekend is going to be trolley. Okay, I just wasn't sure if we have, like, any other. Ah, uh, no. Okay. Well, there might be, like, side events. I'm not sure exactly yet. I don't want to speak on anything too soon. Holy every... Let's... Uh, well... But... Thank you to every... Then, thank you to Ed and... Um, Hung, uh, for holding on commentary, for all the spent... And Ray... Thank you, Jobs. Ray, especially, even though yeah. you weren't um, able to stick around. It was great having you. Thanks for the streams and all that. Always love Radical Raymond. But thank you to everyone who tuned in. Thank you to all 24 people who entered. And um, I guess we'll see you next week. Y'all have a good one.